Hey. <clears throat> Welcome. Hello. How's it going, everyone? Hello. How you doing? How's it going, everyone? Welcome to uh, Critter Cove. Uh, this this is the playtest. Critter Cove has its playtest that has released uh, today. And uh, we've played this game in the past before. But this is kind of an extended version of that. They've added a lot to this playtest. And I really enjoyed when I played the first time. Um, so we're going to be coming back at it again here with this brand new playtest. This is something that you can actually go and... This is something that you can actually go and um, uh, download yourself. I think you can kind of uh, uh, join the playtest, so to speak. It is controller supported. Um, at least it's Xbox controller supported. I don't know about PlayStation, but this is going to be an early access title that will be released uh, sometime here soon in probably the next few months, maybe even sooner. Quarter two is the release date for this. Now, what is Critter Cove? In case this is your first time seeing this, uh, Critter Cove is a deep open world life sim and town building game set in a cozy post-apocalyptic paradise. Restore an old town, sail across a mysterious archipelago, 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 you know, the island thing. Um, hunt relics and farm fish and craft everything you need. Can you help turn Critter Cove into a thriving tourist town once again? That is the description for this game. Um, this, like I said, this game should be coming out here soon. Um, this is developed by Gentleman Rat, Gentleman Rat Studios, and published by Gentleman Rat Studios. You can add this game to your wish list if you really enjoy what you see in today's uh, stream. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, not only for me but also for the for the devs and for the game itself so that we can maybe possibly spread the word about Critter Cove because Critter Cove is actually really cool. You can also hit the subscribe button as well if you want to see more streams by me, more content by me, and things like that. Um, now, with this playtest, I'm not entirely sure if we will get to have... Uh, get to save anything like this demo, right? I don't know if we'll get to save any of our work and then as it translates into early access I do not know unless it says something right here. I haven't read this yet. So here we go Ahoy critters. We're thrilled to present this alpha build of Critter Cove controller support in the brand new tourism feature So these are a couple of things that they're adding since the last time we played um, to this uh, demo build Tourism feature are included, and we can't wait to hear your feedback on the Discord channel. Yes, join their Discord channel, uh, give them suggestions and all that, and and uh, and and you know, hype it up, right? Hype it up. I don't know, whatever the kids say nowadays. Hype it up, baby. Saves for this alpha won't transfer to the transfer to the full game. So literally, it says it right there. <laughs> so yes, there we go. Question answered already. Uh, your save, anything you do in the demo, will not transfer over uh, to the full game, which I am assuming they mean to the early access game and as with as with the early build expect a few b bugs simplify chinese is our first new language so there may be some additional bugs relating to the ui and text if you encounter any issues please don't hesitate to reach out uh, on the forums and whatnot uh yeah so yeah feedback and all that and critter cove devs big shout out to them um and very excited that they get to uh and they get to have another build or another play test another uh, demo out here in, in when with critter cove so i'm very happy about this i'm very excited to see more about it i want to see what else that i uh, what else they have to offer i guess so yeah really good to see hello everybody on twitch hello everybody on youtube i hope you're all doing well hello natasha hello summer sunshine hello desi suzy t yeah gaming stasia anthony hello anthony welcome in faith angel chocolate latte hello chocolate latte Tom Crabtree, welcome in. Michelle, Hannah, Locklear, good to see ya. Lurking and working, shout out to you. Masumi, hello Masumi, how are you? Dave G, how are you? Welcome in, Dave G. Lady Fluffy Dragon, not sick, not sick, hello, not sick. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Tay Tay, hello Tay Tay. Zen Pyro, hello Zen Pyro. Alistair, hello Alistair. Welcome in, yeah. Hello Shari Ba, hello Maddie. Welcome in Chelsea. Hello, Chelsea. Hello, hello. Hello, Tishi Gamer Girl. Ninrox Shante. Hello, hello. Dennis, hello, Dennis. How are you, Dennis? Welcome in. Uh, and everybody lurking, smirking, and possibly working. You might be even playing this game with me today, along with me, but we'll have to see. Let's go ahead and hit continue, shall we? Um, yeah, so like I said, there is another uh, stream, I believe we did. Yeah, another stream we did with this game. Um, disable Critter Speak. It's already on default. 
Interesting. I wonder, I don't think this saved anything from what I did last time. There's no way. By the way, thank you, Hockey Defense, for following on Twitch. And pre Aferis. Faris? Ferris? Fries? Appreciate that on Twitch. Um, I'm going to turn this off just because I want to see what the critter speak is like. There we go. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I like it. Let's go into it. Now, there's a lot of cool things about this game. Uh, obviously, you get to build up a, t a town and whatnot. Yes, there's critters. Um, but there's, like, so much more. So, what they also did... By the way, Nebraska Dawn, thank you for subscribing with your Amazon Prime on Twitch. Thank you for that, Nebraska Dawn. Uh, one thing they did about with this demo build here is they actually added boats, I believe. And you can travel, I think, from island to island. Now, when the game does come out in early access when it comes out with this release uh there's gonna be a massive open world is what we've been told so interested to see everything about that yeah yeah anyways um here we go uh let's create our uh character yeah yeah you could be anything you want you could be a human you could be a freaking uh cat fox dog this that you could be a tv if you want to <laughs> <laughs> you could be a bird. You could be a freaking fluffy dragon if you want to be a fluffy dragon. You could be uh, uh, an octopus. Yes. You could be all different kinds of things. You don't really have to be a human. You can be um, a, a critter and whatnot. But we'll be a human. I'll be a human because, you know, I don't think I qualify for any of these other things. Uh, I might qualify for a TV, but that's beside the point. Um, yeah, you can do a lot of detail. Uh, there's really cool details they have in this game now i can't remember since the last time we played if any of this stuff is new i don't know i don't know wow you can actually uh oh, i guess it's called mask is that what it is mask right okay so we're like okay all right all right, all right. i understand we'll just leave that how it is right now i don't want to mess with that because i know i would screw it up uh yeah it kind of looks like gauges in a way open to gauges okay Let's head over to the eyes. Um, I don't want to spend too, too much time on customer, uh, customer, uh, customer, <laughs> customer satisfaction, character customization, because it's not going to save over anyways, right? So we'll just kind of let it go. I'll show you what there is, but I won't like spend too much time on it. Wow. You can have a winky face. You can have a determined face. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I actually kind of like that. Maybe. Seems kind of angry. Let's do that. Uh, yes, and I will do uh, green. I will do green eyes. That's fine. Uh, pupil size. You can have a pupil size. <laughs> Let's have the biggest pupil size of all time. Uh, hair. Now, look. Never can I ever find the hair I'm looking for. But, you know, go for the closest one, I guess. Go for the closest one. Um, Let's see. Uh... I mean, that would probably be the closest one, yeah? Let's see if we can do an easy... Now, there's a save colors. You can save your preset colors and things like that. There isn't, like, a color wheel, it doesn't seem like. I don't think so. So you really gotta, like, hit it right where you want on the hue. Um, like, I can't just be like, oh, yeah, give me dark brown. Or, like, some sort of light brown. <laughs> Actually, let me save that. You can go save this, and then this can go to that, and then this can go to that. And then you can have all one color. There we are. Cool. Uh, mustache, beard, all the things that you want to do, want to have, even whiskers you can have. Um, look at those eyebrows. I'm going to go none. Thank you. And then horns. Holy crap. There's like antlers. My lord. Unicorn. I don't remember this. I really don't remember this. This is kind of crazy, man. It's wild. I will go with none. Uh, body shape. So there's all these different kinds of body shapes, too. Interesting, you have short nails, long nails, robotic hands, robotic feet if you want to. Very cool, very cool. Change the color of your nails. Uh, you can have like sleeve tattoos, I guess, tribal tattoos. Kind of look like tribal tattoos. That looks like a zombie. Okay. That looks like a cow. You can be a cow. You want to be a cow. Yeah. Cow? Cow. <laughs> All right. Uh, height and size. Let's see. Let's see where this actually goes. I kind of forgot. Okay. Very well. There we are. Seems good. Seems good to me. What about this? What is this? 
Oh, is this my tail? Oh my god, you're gonna have a tail. <laughs> okay, you look at if you wanted to play as the TV, you could plug it right on in. Yeah, cool. You could definitely be a fluffy dragon if you want. Very cool. The options are there. The options are there. Um, and then you can have like a shell if you want to have a shell or scales. Nice. There's a lot of cool customizations to this. Let's accept. What's my name? I'm Cans. Yeah, I'm Cans. You should I be Captain Cans? No. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. Captain Cans? No, we'll be just Cans. That's fine. There we go. All right. Let's jump into this. Let's do it. Let's get it. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Shay. How you doing, Shay? Hello, Linda. How's it going? Captain Cans. I should maybe I should have did Captain Cans. Possibly. All right, here we go. Help wanted island manager. Are you tired of the same old hu uh, human drum? Human drum? Do you want to just get away? Opportunity awaits on the beautiful paradise of Critter Cove. Critter Cove is looking for the right person to help turn it from wow to kapow. <laughs> Join us as we turn our town into the top destination around. Are you a self-starter, handy with tools, willing to travel, able to supply your own health insurance, shark positive, a team player, immune to a robophobia, and willing to work on a commission? If you answered yes to these questions, Critter Cove is the right place for you. Travel to the island included. Upon arrival, contact Renard for more details and adventure in a post-apocalyptic paradise awaits. Here we go. Yeah, it's all right if we're just like being driven by a shark. That's fine. Hello, Maya Sim. How are you? Hello, Barclay. Hello, it's me. Hello, Chris. Hello, Aaron and Pink. Hello, Dark Lynx. The game really looks good, too. I really enjoy the way this game looks. Ah, what the hell? Maybe I don't enjoy it that much anymore. My goodness. Shiver me timbers. What an amazing, exciting journey that was. We'd be lucky to make it here in one piece. All right, Anchor. I might turn off the critter speak. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll turn this off. Judging by me ship sitting at the bottom of the harbor. Nah, a moment too soon either. Uh, nah, a moment too soon either. Guessing the CB having to wait another day to claim old anchor. Why don't you go speak with that fella that hired us? Renard be his name. I'll be making sure the port office be in order. What happened out there? Hey, you don't remember the robot Kraken? The fleet of ghost pirates saving us from a raging whirlpool? Truly, you be a master sailor the likes old Anchor has never seen. You must have smacked your head harder than I thought to forget all that. <laughs> I'd be lucky to have you watching me dorsal fin out thar. If fit it, work for you. <laughs> never you mind. We be here now, so I guess none of that matters anymore. You focus. You should focus on that job at hand, though. <laughs> Renard be uh, waiting for you on shore. He'll probably have more for you to do. Just be watching your back around him. Yeah, yeah. Renard be a sneaky one he is. Uh, Papa, Yun Papa Unta, thank you for the 10 months. How you doing, Papa Unta? Thank you for the 10 months of support. Almost one whole year. Appreciate that. Big ups to you. So yeah, let's go ahead and just... um. I, I think I remember maybe why I turned that off from before. Uh, options, yes to yes to turn off that. You need to turn down the music a little bit. Uh, sound effects were kind of crazy. Ambient, dialogue, music, music. Thank you, Ninrox, for the gifted membership. Hello. Okay. We should be all right, yeah? All right. That's good. Okay. Okay, so we are right fresh off the boat, and now we need to go talk to Renard. Let's go talk to Renard um, and kind of do this. This probably will be very similar to what we did the first time we played. So there's that. Hello, Renard. Ah, so I see you finally arrived. So glad to finally meet you. I can't wait to get started on rebuilding Critter Cove. I'm Renard, mastermind behind this little venture. I also run the local junk and gift shop. If you need anything, just stop by and check out my wares. You've probably already noticed that the town is in a less than ideal state. It'll be your job to fix it up all nice. 
like make a real destination and perhaps we make a little coin along the way hmm but first things first we need to get your living arrangement sorted can't have you sleeping on the beach now can we it'd be undignified Fortunately, Renard has you covered. Take this mostly official Critter Cove house deed and pin it to the door of any of these vacants you see. No matter which one, your choice. Yeah, so really cool thing about this game is like in the beginning, you can choose whatever um, house you want in the town, which is kind of fun. I like that. And you don't get set with like a permanent state, you know, like, okay, this is what you have to have. You get to have the choice right off the bat. Like having a choice within like the first 10 minutes of the game, that's kind of nice. Once that's all done, nice and legal, you'll need to fix it up, but that shouldn't be an issue for someone as resourceful as yourself. How do you know everything about me, Renard? Oh, by the way, there are a couple of other folks who arrived just before you did. Might be a good idea to stop in and say hi, since you'll already be out looking for a house anyways. They each took to living on the beach, one on the west, one on the west and one on the east. The island isn't that big. You should have no troubles finding them. I'll come by and talk to you once again. Uh, you once once you've gotten your house set up, there's much to be done. Yeah, so any of these houses we can kind of just choose. I think just about any house now, except for like this because this is obviously going to be a commercial place. Like I think a general store eventually, but like there's a lot of different options that you can have. Like there's a house right there you can have. There's houses over here. This is a house over here. Uh, there's two houses over here. There's a house way down there. So it's a little bit of freedom. Um, now, I don't know. Uh, maybe we don't know. Uh, eventually, if you pick a house, will you be able to change your house? No idea. <laughs> maybe in the game when it comes out, maybe that will be something. But um, I think if I remember correctly, I put my house there last time I played. I kind of want to put it somewhere else. Maybe I'll like, maybe, I, maybe did I put it over here? Maybe I put it over here. Let's see. Do I want to isolate myself or do I not want to isolate myself? Maybe I put it over here, actually. I'm not sure. I don't remember where I put it last time I played. That would be kind of isolating myself. Put it over here. Um, Let's put it in that thing right there. Straight ahead. Yeah, let's do that. It has its own like staircase going up to it as well. I will, have a, I will have a neighbor next door, though. I guess it doesn't really matter, Don, does it? Okay, we'll do this one. This is my house now. Would you like this to be your home? Uh, yes, that's mine. There we go. Cool. Home sweet home. So collect and de deliver the re required resources to the donation box. If we take a look at the journal here, you can see all these different things like fixing up your house. We're going to need to get like tools and stuff. So we're going to need to get wood. We're going to need to get stone and whatnot. Pokey is one of the uh, villagers that they were talking about that we need to meet. And same with Sammy. So Sammy and Pokey will go ahead and see them eventually. Maybe I'll get this stuff first or maybe I'll meet them first. I'm really not sure. Whatever happens, happens. We're going to go out to the beach anyways. See if we can find anything. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, if this if you if this is your first time tuning in for this game, this game's really cool. Um, if you like these kinds of like town survival, like build up kind of games, I don't even know what the proper word would be. You should definitely check it out. There's some berries, blush berries. Oh, very good. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Kella. How are you, Kella? Hello, Sassy. How you doing, Sassy? What's going on? There's Pokey. What? Don't you know it's rude to butt your nose into someone else's business? Who are you anyways? My name is Captain Cans, or they call me Cans. Cans? Ah, that new sailor, man. You're not what I expected. I always heard sailors were supposed to be tough and capable looking. I'm Pokey, by the way. And I just, and just about the only adult on this whole island. Ah, right, okay. Now, please, don't let me keep you from a busy day of picking up every random piece of trash you see. Good day. All right. This is the stone and the sticks that we need anyways. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. We'll go ahead and grab... How, I forgot how many we need. Is it... um Eight and five. Eight and five. Eight sticks, five stones. We'll just grab everything we can. So yeah, Pokey, I guess, is out here living on the beach. And I think, if I remember correctly, eventually we might be able to move them into the town. Yeah. Now, the one thing also that's big to this uh, demo compared to the last demo was uh, or is i should say tourism so last demo that we played um it did not have tourism uh this time there should be tourists that will visit your town to kind of show off how that gameplay is all about i think this is probably enough now right probably have well 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 enough well enough there we go there we go and then i think we just kind of deliver this to the box itself right yeah collect and deliver the required resources to the donation box so probably straight to our house yeah 
I know this game can't release fast enough for me. It's coming very soon too. So if from now, probably less somewhere in between the next three months, right? Hopefully sooner. Cause I really, really hope, um, this game comes out soon. Cause I'm really excited for it. And this is a good, good chance right now. Cause the play test, it'll give them some knowledge, some ideas, whether or not the game is ready or not. Right. I'm excited. Uh, donate. Yes. Donate that and donate that. Good. We completed it. Hooray. Nice. And now our house is a little bit refurbished. Hello, Papa Mush. Hello, Jim. How's it going? Welcome in. There we go. Nice. And we'll do that throughout the entire town too, right? I would like to maybe hear a little bit of a sound effect uh, from maybe that or something rather. That seemed very quiet. Uh, just having that refurbish again play test though. Hello, Renard. I see you finally figured out your living situation capital This is a very fine home, but they never come well furnished. Hmm. I've got it You need a housewarming gift free of charge. Of course, let's call it a down payment on future services. I rendered Let's say not <laughs> Now, let me see. Ah, here we go. Just the thing to make a house feel more homey capital There we go uh, What do I do with this? Well, you place it in your house, of course. This is your space and you can decorate it however you like. Oh, all new homes also seem to come with two basic trunks. They're very handy for storing your extra things. And by some quirk of nature that I'm not qualified to explain, their contents seem to be connected together. Ooh, so universal chest, right? Universal chest, connected chest, things like that, right? Yeah, hello, Mistaken Reaper. Will it be on console? I do not know if it will be on console. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. Connected how? If you put an item into one container, you'll be able to access it from another container on your own. Science, magic, just another of life's unexplained mysteries. Probably one of my favorite features in these types of games. But it's incredibly useful. You can move one or both of these trunks to any place that's convenient. I suggest moving one to the workshop area. Well, I should be going. My story isn't going uh, to mind itself. But before I take my leave, here's a pamphlet that goes over the basics of decorations. Nice. I'm sure you'll have a fine looking home in no time. Cans, a creative person such as yourself always does. Inventory, decorate mode, E, good stuff. Okay. Um, now, should I just, yeah, yeah. Na naturally I should just go in, right? And just see our house. So this is our house. It comes with a nice bed. We have a nice candle. We have two chests that we should probably take over to um, the workshop area, of course. And Bumblebee, hey. Thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. Holy moly. That was very kind of you. How are you doing? That was very kind indeed. Thank you for that, Bumblebee. And on behalf of those 10 people, we say thank you very much, Bumblebee. Yes. Thank you very much, Bumblebee. That was very, very nice of you. Now, one thing about this game, too, is... Um, when you do like house decoration, you get like a first person view of like, you know, here, here's a first person view. There is a snap to grid. So there is a grid play system or you can do free, uh, free placement, free mode placement. Um, I'll use the snap to grid, but I kind of really like the fact that you can just like, you know, let me put that in backwards. I don't even know. Did I put that in backwards. Hang on. Let me pick this back up, but it's really nice to have, um, the, the the option have free mode or snap to grid right let me rotate this okay no the, it wasn't anything special okay back to that i kind of want to move some stuff around just because i think the bed sitting there is a little bit awkward so we'll do that we'll grab this place the bed here put it on a nice grid actually that's kind of there we go perfect there we are that's terrible. Terrible placement by yours truly. Okay. Let's go here. Try again. There we go. That looks a lot better. That. Yep. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, cool. And then uh, candle. Place the candle down. We'll place this right here. There we go. And then a nice basic chair. Hey, I guess we subscribe. can kind of place this anywhere. We'll place this right here for now. By the way, thank you. Uh... Agilicon, Agilicon for subscribing. Hello. Thank you. Decoration instructions. 
All right, we don't need to have that, do we? Can we at least, maybe uh, maybe we'll keep it. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can change your outfit in this game too. So you'll be able to have different kinds of clothes, backpacks, glasses, hats, all these different things in the game as well. Um, we want to take one of these. So we'll take one of these. And then we will actually place this inside the trunk. You can rename your trunks too, rename your chest in this game, which is a nice feature, of course. There is a health bar, energy bar, money in the top right hand corner. There's a calendar and all that. So let's head on out. Let's go talk to Renard again. I will take the um, the chest with me and take it to the workshop like he said. Uh, that's just what I'll do. Ah, oh, Ken, so good for you to stop by. We have much to do and it never seems like, like there are enough hours in the day. We need to start fixing up this town. But first, I need you to find our mission handy bot or sorry, mission missing handy bot. Of course, copper bottom. Love it. Copper bottom reminds me of the movie robots. Wonderful. He was supposed to be picking up salvage for the workshop down at the beach, but he probably got himself wet again. I always tell him to avoid the water. See, but he just can't help himself. You're going to need this oil can where you find him. You're going to need this oil can where you find him. Just give him a squirt or two of that and he'll be 100% again. All right. Oh, and do me a huge favor and give him a hand when you get him unstuck. He's way behind on getting the workshop fixed. Now off you go. No dwaddling, mind you. The sooner you find Copper Bottom, the sooner we'll have a functional workshop. Indeed. Okay. Now, can I actually put that into my hotbar? Is there certain items that I can put into my hotbar? Let's see. That I'm not sure. And I'm not sure. Maybe. Hang on. Can I place this stuff? Any of this? Not entirely sure. All right. Anyways. Uh, he sat down in the water. Now, there's a map. Yeah, there is a map. And a map tells you where all these things are. Meet Sammy. Rusty Copper. So we'll head off over there. I'll probably talk to Sammy first. And then we'll go to Copper Bottom and all that. Hello, Kella. How, how are you? Welcome in, Kella. Now, this is going to be the workshop that we're going to have have here soon. Once we get uh, Mr. Copperbottom, um, that will be a very, very vital part of the game. Whoa. Um, and ocean, ocean living or ocean diving. Um, that's going to be a big part of the game. Islands off of there. Like you can see islands off the coast. Uh, you will be able to travel to island to island. Uh, this is going to be a big open world game. It's not going to just center around this island. There will be multiple islands and uh swimming and going into the ocean underwater there's a lot of uh resources that you can find underneath too as well so uh, it, you'll you're gonna have to see will this have multiplayer i don't think so i don't think so but i'm not sure at least when it launches i haven't heard any multiplayer with the game or any talks about it hmm hello you're new I'm Sammy. I'm pretty new to here too. Well, I'm Cans. Well, you have no idea how nice it is to meet you, Cans. I was starting to think that I had gotten tricked into moving here. The brochure, brochure said a tropical paradise awaits. It didn't say anything about living in a ratty tent on a beach. I thought I'd be stuck on this beach forever, but you look like someone who's got all it figured out. Maybe we'll finally start seeing some progress, you know? I'm glad I met you. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Riley, and thank you, Riley, for the 13 months. How are you? 13 months of support from Riley. Thank you very much, Riley. Uh, you've been watching a bit longer, though. <laughs> Appreciate that. And hey, everyone, uh, look at Riley there. Uh, if you haven't already, check out Riley's channel. Riley also does streaming, too. Uh, been around for a while in the community, so big ups to Riley. And shout out to you, Riley. Hello. All right, so we met a new friend there. And then let's go ahead and get Copper Bottom. Yeah. Rodney Copper Bottom. That's right. Rodney Copper Bottom. Look at him. He looks fantastic. Mm, please. Uh, mm, Renard, hurry. Use the oil can. Squeak him up. And the game looks really cool, doesn't it? Like the graphics and the colors and everything. Look at him. Happy mode activated. All joints appear to be functional again. This unit thanks the meta person for your assistance. It is customary to exchange information on meeting a new being. This unit is autonomous worker in construction unit number 2347 PJF5. But since your meta brain does not perform at optimum efficiency, you may refer to this unit as Copper Bottom. <laughs> well, Copper Bottom, I am Cans. 
Now that information has been exchanged, this unit understands it is traditional to supply a gift to show gratitude for assistance. Since metapersons have soft, fleshy hands, inadequate for ripping metal apart, this unit will supply cans with a blueprint for an artificial hand to supplement your design flaw. Use the blueprint to learn it. Then search the area and collect the required resources. Finally, assemble resources to make wrench. Cans will find many uses for the wrench. He looks awesome, doesn't he? I like the purple and yellow going on. This unit is aware of how much meta persons enjoy written instructions and a list from which will now be supplied to cans. Please follow the instructions to increase your skill database. We shall. Oh, meat person, not meta person. I think I did that last time when I played. I think I said meta person and I is meat person. Uh, the reward phase of our interaction is complete. This unit will... <laughs> This unit will now return to the workshop. This unit looks forward to in interacting with you again uh, once it returns there. Uh, Can's assistant is required with other matters. I think it's more because I, meat person just sounds so weird. And I'm like, wait a sec, meat person, meta person. I don't know, dude. Anyways, press K, all that crafting. Yes, yes, yes. Blueprints now. Very good. Yep. There you go. There's your new uh, blueprint there. Good, good man. Perfect. Uh, basic wrench so yeah we've learned that we can make that we can do stuff with that and we will do stuff with that so let's see what do we need to craft a wrench with um we need metal and we need sticks okay we got metal <laughs> let's craft perfect i did do it in the first in the first time i played i said meta person the first time didn't i i certainly did all right we'll click everything dismantle and i can do that with a wrench yeah there we go cool this will give me all different kinds of things. So we'll go ahead and talk to uh, talk to Copper Bottom here in a sec as I collect everything off this beach. Because if you like to be a little hoarder uh, in games, this game is going to be right up your alley. Um, okay, so the hot bar is for like items you use. Um, not like anything, I guess. Only certain items you can use, right? Gather. Glass and metal. Uh, what the heck is that, dude? All right. Copper bottom. I made the wrench. I'm ready to go, buddy. Yeah. Hello. Greeting mode activated. Greetings, cans. Uh, greetings again, meat person cans. This unit is pleased to see you have not expired since our last interaction. This unit is experiencing difficulty. Someone has stacked these wooden barricades against the workshop in a most illogical fashion. This unit is unable to effect repairs on the workshop until these barricades have been removed. Query mode. Uh, perhaps meat person cans could assist this unit in the removal of these obstacles. Meat persons have soft, fleshy hands that are ill or that are ill suited for chopping hard wood, wooden structures. <clears throat> if you attempt to chop wood with fleshy hands, they will probably fall off. This unit will supply cans with knowledge on how to form an artificial chopping limb. Use this chopping tool to chop these barricades, blocking access to the workshop. AKA, give me an axe, right? Uh, warning mode. Use the tool responsibly and do not fall under the temptation to chop your fellow citizens. This will void their warranty. <laughs> Once Kans has completed the barricade removal, this unit will be able to examine the workshop in closer detail. All right. Nice. Cool. Hello, Swift Swiftly. How are you? Yeah, the collecting of the blueprints is pretty fun, right? All right. Basic axe. Love it. I don't, I don't like the term meat person. It's, it's a little weird, isn't it? Uh, it just comes off the tongue very strangely. Uh, we need more metal. Yeah, we do. Uh, Jay Wayne, thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, Jay Wayne. How's it going? Jane Wayne Gaming. Appreciate it. All right, let's make that now. Axe. Joint. Hello, Piggy Chop. How are you? Perfect. Am I standing on this metal here? Cool. We'll do that and then let's go ahead and chop down all the barricades which is cool because like when you come up to something you can actually just kind of like so if i have my axe out i can still go up to a metal and just dismantle it i don't need to like necessarily like scroll through my hotbar just to get to the tool i need to actually take down something you can just walk up to it and press you know press the button i really uh like that you can zoom pretty much all the way in so i'm like fully zoomed in and it kind of makes it look like i'm in first person a bit but then you can like fully zoom out if you want to I kind of like being behind, like over the shoulder personally, but yeah, there we are. Hello, Pinky Dallas. How's it going? How's it going? We'll do that. 
Chris Wells, thank you for becoming a member. Hello, Chris Wells. Appreciate that. Big ups to you. Thanks for the generosity. Hope you're doing well, Chris. Is this another playtest? This is another playtest. Yes. But this playtest has more to it than the last playtest. They've added more to it. Like tourism. Explanation mode activated. A functional workshop is necessary to perform repairs on the rest of the town's structures. Most of the repairs to the workshop have been completed, but additional resources are needed in order to finish construction. Request mode. This unit requires your assistance in procuring the missing resources. Unfortunately, some of the unnecessary, or sorry, the necessary resources are located under the water. <laughs> yes, under the water. <laughs> Hello, Moxie. How are you? Good to see you, Moxie. Also, another person that streams and that's been around for quite some time is moxie so shout out to moxie go check out moxie's channel as well what is the difference between the playtest and the demo um more playtest has more it just came out today this playtest came out today yeah your miss your meat skin is imperious impervious to rust so collecting what is needed should also pose little issue for you Unless you run out of air, then you will expire. This unit recommends you avoid that. A container will be for provided to deposit the supplies needed to repair the workshop. Please place what supplies you find within the container. Does cans have any queries? Um, many, but I'm good for now. Where can I find the resources? Uh, the required supplies should be easy to locate. Wood and stone can be picked up off the ground. Cans will most likely have to dive wrecks located just off the shore in order to find needed scrap iron. There is one such location nearby. This unit will indicate location on the meat person's map. Farewell. Uh, this interaction is now complete. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so... How I talked about earlier about like going into the ocean, going under the ocean and things like that. There are... Um, going in underwater and finding stuff is a big, big thing in this game too. Thank you, Lucy, for using your Prime subs subscription on me on freaking Twitch. How are you? Good to see you. Appreciate that. Um, big ups to you. Hello. All right, so we'll go ahead and... Okay, so we need, what, 10 and 10? Okay, 10 and 10. Let's get 10 and 10. Uh, excuse me. Hello. You need to say something, Pokey. Hey, Cans, uh, you're just who I was running, uh, hoping to run into. I found something unusual on the beach and immediately thought of you. It's a bottle, but I'm pretty sure that it's got something inside of it. And there's no way I'm touching that thing. Who knows where it's been? You're always scoundering around, touching everything with your dirty little hands, so I figured an old grimy bottle laying on the beach would be right up your alley. Follow me and I'll show you right where it is. And don't lollygag. I've, I've got better things to do with my day than wait for you. Like, whatever. Okay, whatever indeed. Well, you're going to have to wait, Miss Lollygag. I'm going to do what I'm going to do real quick. There we go. We're going to get some sticks, get some planks, get some metal. And then we're going to repair this workshop. Indeed. <laughs> Tutti Fruity, they give... Wow. Tutti Fruity for the thousand bits. My lord, that was very generous of you. Holy moly. Appreciate the thousand bits there, Tutti Fruity. Big ups to you. Hello. My goodness gracious. Appreciate that, Tutti Fruity. Thank you for that. You started a hype train over there on Twitch. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I think this part where they like rebuild something and scaffolding, there should be like some sort of like sound some sort of music some sort of sound effect uh of like these like you know that that little cut scene maybe i don't know maybe it's just me all right so he'll copper bottom will be doing this wait for copper bottom to complete the repairs in the meantime uh we'll go and see what this whole you know thing in a bottle genie in a bottle we'll see what this bottle is all about hello mama latte how are you bum, 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 bum. no lollygagging you don't get a lot of, you don't get a lot of lollygagging nowadays do you there's the bottle. All right. Look at our energy now. Pick it up. So this is a treasure map, and it tells us where we need to dig. Treasure map, need to dig on X. Very well. Hello. Wow. This is a genuine treasure map. I, I bet if you follow it, you'll find something cool. That's how treasure maps work, you know? You just find where the X marks the spot and dig. Super simple. Like, so simple, even you can do it. Well, that is very rude of you, Pokey. Very rude indeed. You're going to need something to dig with, though. Uh, don't look at me. Do I look like I'm made of shovels or something? 
go try anchor there's probably one on this whole island those who dug up more treasure than that old shark or i guess oh yeah anchor i bet he's got a trunk full of shovels you can use well i did my good deed for the day time for me to leave you to rooting around in the dirt later chumpers very well very well indeed holy crap bumblebee with a 20 gifted memberships hey appreciate that that was very kind very generous that's 30 gifted memberships today <clears throat> big ups to you bumblebee i appreciate that that was very kind of you on behalf of those 20 people just now we say thank you very much bumblebee for the generosity that was very very kind very kind indeed holy moly super kind indeed big ups <clears throat> Ahoy there, Captain Cans. What can old Anchor be doing for you? I found a treasure map. Ah, oh, treasure map, you be saying. Best be hand handing it over before old Anchor goes into a feeding frenzy and tears you to shreds. <laughs> That's just a little shark, a little shark pirate humor for you. Anchor's lad shredding days are long past. See, so you found yourself a treasure map, did you? Anchor knows a thing or two about treasure maps. Just find where X marks a spot and dig it up. Simple. Very much like that. Indeed. Mama Latte, thank you for the three months. Resubscribe it on Twitch. Hello, Mama Latte. How are you? Oh, my lord. I need a shovel, though. Ah, so you found a treasure map and got nothing to, to dig with, yeah? Anchor has found himself in a very situation many more times than teeth in me in my own head. I have no idea what I just said. Let me try that again. Anchor has found himself in that very situation more times than teeth in me own head. Fortunately for you, Anchor just so happens to be an expert on making new shovels sold shovels out of bits and bobs you can find all over. Here, let me share my shovel building knowledge with you. After all, we can't have you on your hands and knees scooping out sand in a desperate attempt to get a treasure. It'll be undignified. <sighs> Every time your dog barks, my dogs run around trying to find the dog. They'll never find it because this thing doesn't even know how to find itself. Hey! I, I promise you, it's the same postman that comes every day. It's not going to change. As much as upset you are, it's not going to change. Guess what? He'll be back tomorrow too. Yeah. And he'll be back the day after that as well. Yeah. Anyways. And the day after that. And you know what? Even the day after Christmas, the mailman will be back. Now that be taken care of, good luck to you. I hope you find something nice and lacking in any pirate curses. Very well. Cool. So now we need to make a shovel. Yeah. Basic shovel. That's all we need. <laughs> All right, so let's get that going. What do we need for the... We might be able to do it now. Actually, let me take care of this real quick. There we are. Do we have enough to do it now? Uh, we need wood. All right, very good. Just give me some wood. We'll be good. Um, Aaron and Pink, thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, Aaron. That was kind of you. Thank you, Aaron. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, Charlie. How's it going? Good to see you. Welcome in. Hello, Lady Fluffy Dragon on Twitch. That was a special hello, because I wasn't sure who you were. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Shovel in, baby. Hello, Monkey King. How's it going? Hello, T. How you doing, T? Okay. Alright, now let's go ahead and find this thing. It's good. It should be easy. Hopefully. I hope. Uh, do we see where we're at on the map? We do. Okay, we know where it's at. We know how to get to, to that over there on the, like, cliff, cliff thing. Yeah, that. <laughs> All right. Uh, up here? Um, we gotta go up higher. They have so many sunflowers in this game, and I love that. Because sunflowers are my favorite flower. Okay. We'll kind of, like, ignore everything and Wait a sec. Did that say dig? It did say dig. Excuse me? Oh, is it digging this? Okay, it is digging that. Stone. Okay, got it. Cinder blocks. Up here. Oh, baby. There we are. Are we here? No, we're not even close, dude. 
I don't think we are. Are we? No, we went a little bit past it. I think it might be down on the beach. Potentially. It might be it might be down on the beach, yeah. Not in the cliffs. Let me see now. Let's take a look at the uh map first before we like yeet ourselves off of here. Uh treasure map. Uh yes. It's like right there. Okay. I have a feeling it's down there. And then we are right there. Okay, yeah. Alright, I see. I see the vision. Now taking damage falling. Let's see. As I scale. No. <laughs> Whoa! Hello. I sneezed, but I think I'm in the right spot as well. Learn. What is this? Question mark? Monkey King, for the 17 months. Thank you for the 17 months. This game is going to be awesome when it comes out. I agree. We just got a furniture item there too. I absolutely agree. This game will be awesome. I'm taking the bathtub. I I 100% agree. Thank you for the blesses. My goodness. <laughs> there we go. There's a the treasure. Okay, what's inside? Blueprint. X marks a spot. A clean workplace. That's the next quest. Sammy, what are you doing in the water? Cooking station. All right. So that was a cooking station blueprint. Cool. Yeah. So imagine this, right? There's a lot of this going on. Uh, we'll gather some of this drumstick. Yeah. By the way, this is a plant that grows chicken. Awesome. I want it. I want all of that. I want a plant like that. What would you like? We're going to talk in the water, Sammy. <laughs> uh, Cam, super glad I ran into you. Uh, I was thinking maybe you could help out with a little lighting problem the town has. It gets really dark. Oh my gosh, look at me. It gets really dark here at night, and I'd hate for anyone to stub their toe because they can't see. So I figured, what if we get some new street lights installed? How would we do that? Hmm. My grandpappy always said that if you want to know how something is made, you should take it apart. He destroyed so many things. I bet if you took a wrench to the broken streetlights around town, you could eventually figure out how to build one. You can probably do that with all sorts of things out there in the world. Once you've unlocked the secret to making streetlights, you'll be able to craft a new one uh, out of things you find here and there. Then it's just a matter of picking a good spot. And bing, bang, boom, the town will have a new light. Oh, and it's going to be nice to have some light when it gets dark again. That way, Pokey won't be able to jump out of the shadows and scare me anymore. All right, I am so sorry that I am in the water talk to you like that but anyways um as i was saying so with like the digging and things like that and when you go and travel to other islands and even like what sammy said traveling to other islands uh being able to deconstruct things and kind of like learn new craftable items depending on where you find them throughout the world because this will be an open world a big open world game it will it will definitely venture off from the island that we are on i believe also this game will have like easter eggs in it um i can't i think there was an easter egg we ran into uh, when we played last time so yeah it's gonna be all that kind of thing <sighs> my lord um oh yeah there's like town board stuff going on too we won't look into that right now uh only because we have a little bit of energy left these are the lights that he's talking about we will dismantle there we go but we need to like clean this in this like first and foremost hello copper bottom explanation mode activated this unit is very pleased to announce it has completed repairs in the workshop. Please experience uh, patience while this unit removes the scaffolding and opens the workshop for meat person use. Farewell. This unit offers thanks for the assistance in the completion of this task. I'm actually interested. Well, I guess not. I was going to say, what if you like did like a dragon or you did like a cat or something? But I guess it's like a costume more than it is. He probably will still call you meat person if you are like a dragon or a cat, right? Because it's probably a, a costume. That's my guess. Hello, Kelly. How you doing? Hello, Beth. You like my shirt? You like my Wonka shirt? <laughs> I, know, I like this shirt too. All right. There we go. Clean it up. Clean it up. I don't know if we'll have enough uh, energy for this, but we'll do our best here. Dragons aren't meat people. See, that's the thing. 
Ga grass cutter engine. Cool. Oh, yeah. I should probably uh, leave the... Hang on, Sammy. You and your face. I should probably put the chest in here so that we can have this. So in case you didn't see uh, and you came in just recently, uh, they have storage system in this game, but the storage system works as a universal storage system. So if I have a chest here, it will connect with the chest I have at the house. Right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So yeah, this is the stuff we have at the house. So we can name this like uh, home trunk. That should be good. And that did not. Yeah, that's home trunk. And this can be called uh workshop trunk there we go Did that work workshop home trunk workshop perfect what would you like sammy holy whiskers you're looking completely knackered cans you've been working so hard for all of us that you've forgotten to take care of yourself maybe you should get yourself something to eat and some rest i don't know about you but i always feel better if i get myself some nice grilled meat it's also so simple to make the first thing I do is plop it down, plop down a campfire. Then I just toss the drumstick stock and wait for it to roast up nicely. Hmm. Eh, just thinking about it, it is making my mouth water. But if grilled meat isn't your thing, you can try putting anything you want into it. The fun thing about cooking is just trying to figure out new recipes. After eating something, you should get some sleep. You've you've a bed in your home for a reason, Cans. Use it. Next time I see you, I hope you aren't looking so tired. You've got to take better care of yourself. Very well. So we'll do just that. We are out of energy. I'll make the campfire tomorrow. It is getting late. It's almost 9 p.m. And we'll head on over to uh, uh, to the house. Now, I do believe the um, developers of this game, they are actually stationed out of Las Vegas, which is kind of unique because I don't think, um, you, you know, you don't get a lot of like Las Vegas kind of developers. I'm pretty sure they're stationed out of there. All right, let's go to sleep. Perfect. Um, sleep until morning. So you can take a nap, long nap, short nap, things like that. But we're going to sleep until the morning. We'll go back to the workplace and things and, and get it going. Yeah. I love copper bottom. He's got a copper bottom. You played as a cat and he also called you a meat person. Okay. So it must be like, kind of like we're like wearing costumes or something rather. Yeah. Don't be calling cats meat person. Oh, I guess cat is a meat. You could possibly, and you are a person. Well, all right. Semantics, I guess. Let's go ahead and clean this up more. And you know what? Yeah, we'll go ahead and um, we'll get the campfire out. We'll get that going. I'll place this outside though. Yeah. Even if you're a TV, are you a meat person? <laughs> so true. It's a valid, valid point. There we are. Add fuel. Uh, what do they need for fuel again? I think it's sticks, right? Sticks and oil. We'll just do sticks. There we go. And we'll start cooking our drumsticks. Experiment in that. There we go. I think that's good. Yeah. Use a bed. Okay, we already used a bed. So we've learned how to grill meat. So we'll pick up the grilled meat. I and mean, then can we do like berries? Let's cook more. There we go. We'll do four at a time. So you learn the recipe, then you can do as much as you want. Yeah. It is. It is very much cozy and relaxing. It is. Yeah. If you like cozy and relaxing, you definitely will get it out of this game. Um, let's do experiment again. And let's go here to experiment on the berry. We can grill a berry. Dude, I want a tree. I want a, I want a tree that drops KFC. We learned jam. Okay, so that makes jam. That's pretty cool. I could experiment with things the whole freaking like day, all day, right? One thing I really like about games is when they do that kind of cooking experimentation ty type thing. There we go. All right, now we are good with food for now. Back to cleaning up our shop. There we go wood planks uh, let me see if i can actually switch my quest over i can switch it over to this yeah there we go perfect so this is going to be a very vital part of uh the game this workshop we'll be able to do a lot of things here um not only like for us but like for the town and everything simple motor we got apparently blueprint unlock so because we took down that we learned uh, a new craftable item from just dismantling Right, kind of very similar to the street lights. All right. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, does he want us to do every single thing outside too as well? Litter with trash, better clean it up and make sure you have plenty of room to work and maybe I can put some salvage to good use. Okay, yeah, he might want every single piece cleaned up here outside too. Cool, all right. We'll work on that. Just give me a nice KFC tree. That's it. <laughs> is this a PC only game? Yeah, uh, right now it is. There we go. It, it, it does have, um, this game does have, uh, at least it shows, it shows full Xbox controller support. Now, it, you know, I don't know if anybody wants to do like a little bit of research. Um, there might be something online saying that they're going to be bringing it, to, bringing it to console, but I'm not entirely sure myself. But I mean, I could, I, I could probably see this game coming to console, right? Easy. We learned a trash lid, I think. There we go. Hello, Ayla. How are you, Ayla? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> are we 20? We're 20 likes away from 200 likes. Yeah. Yeah, if you're enjoying this, make sure to hit the like button. Um, it helps out me, but also helps out the devs. Uh, bring in this cool freaking game that we have here. And um, it tells me that you guys want to see this when uh, we do, when it does release in early access. Because this game will come out early access first. Um, yeah. Very excited. More tires. Cool. Anything going on back here? Nothing. All right. Very good. Okay, so now that we're low on energy, let's see if we can use some of our food up real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> that noise. Okay. Nice, nice. Using up that jam, baby. Alright, cool. Um, let's talk to Copper Bottom. Congratulations, Mo. Now that the workshop is functioning, it will be necessary to outfit with all the crafting stations needed to process raw materials into useful materials. Fortunately, an engineer work table comes standard in all autonomous uh, works units, built workshops, and comes preloaded with several important blueprints. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with this operation. Explanation mode. The first task that needs to be accomplished in order to have a fully functioning workshop is to craft and place a simple forge. The simple forge is used to refine raw metals into more useful forms. These refined metals will be important for construction of other craft stations and growth of the town. Fortunately, the engineer work table has all the information necessary for the construction of a simple forge. This unit believes that meat person cans will have no trouble completing this assignment. The only difficulty this unit can detect is the finding of the required furnace. Cans will need to complete the blueprint. It would suggest that cans search shipwrecks near the coast of Critter Cove. All right. Old wrecks often use furnaces as part of their uh, propulsion systems. This unit surmises... Uh, that you will be able to find what is needed by searching those areas for salvage. Farewell. This unit will be waiting for cans to complete the task. Okay, cool. So, getting these different things, uh, especially like the, uh, what is it? The, uh, the, the, actually, hang on a sec. Does this show? Simple Forge, yeah. Setting up the workshop. Okay, yeah. Place a Simple Forge. Okay. Yes. Yes. Check the engineer work table. Okay. Check that for a sec. Thank you, Ninrox, for gifting out a membership to Gavin. Gavin, hello. Simple Forge. So we have everything that we need. We have a furnace. All we need is a campfire. Now, this furnace is what we got when we first met Copper Bottom. So maybe I can just pick this up and use it. Or I can make another one. You know what? I'll leave that there for food in the future. So instead, let's just make a campfire. There we go. And then we'll make ourselves a little, uh, little thing thing. Yeah. Um, cool. Game isn't normal to ca uh, casual chug hole jars of berry jam, right? I know. Okay. All right. We have that taken care of. Now, do, does he want us to place it down or does he want us to actually show it to him? He might want us just to place it down. Yeah. Place it down. Uh, let's do that. We'll place it on a grid. 
like placing things on grids more. There we go. Perfect. There you go, copper bottom. We didn't even need to go to a shipwreck. Let's talk to him. Congratulations, Mo. This unit has detected that Kansas has completed the task of placing a simple forge in the workshop area. Performance tests are needed to determine a, if Simple Forge is functioning correctly. Please proceed to use the machine to create a metal bar. It takes a short period of time to forge raw materials and to refine ones, so Cans will need to initiate a patience protocol while waiting for it to be completed. Please let this unit know when the testing of the Simple Forge is complete. All right. Did I put that in cockeyed? Maybe I didn't. It looks a little cockeyed, doesn't it? It does look cockeyed. My God, what are you doing with yourself, man? What is wrong with you? Come on, put it in correctly. Goodness gracious, look at that thing. I think the snap, or the grid is kind of like off a little bit. Maybe we'll put it in this way. That seems correct. Is it that way? Yeah, it's that way. It's definitely that way. My lord. Placement, man, placement. That looks straight. Okay, that's better. Um, metal bar. He said metal bar, right? Yeah. Craft that. Uh, we'll just do one for now. Take 20 seconds. We shall initiate protocol, patience pro protocol. And while we are initiating patience protocol, everyone, don't forget to hydrate. Not just me, but also you. Got it. Okay. <laughs> We're done. Pick it up. Copper bottom. Congratulations. It appears the Simple Forge is operating within acceptable parameters. We must now work on the next crafting machine. Unfortunately, the blueprint for the fabricate fabricator is missing from the engineer work tables data set. Therefore, it will be up to Kansas to discover the missing information. This unit was attempting to record a diagram. Uh, in an underwater cave when cans found it rusted on a shore a short while back unfortunately this unit did not factor the water it is wrenched with evil exposure to it prohibits this unit from performing basic functions it also voids the unit's warranty this unit believes that the diagram contains the missing instructions on how to construct a fabricator a fabricator is a vital is vital for a functioning workshop without one it will not be possible to repair any other structures in town so this unit understands that meat person come equipped with a waterproof covering called skin. Please swim under the water and into the cave uh, entrance to, located towards the rear of the sunken vessel. This unit believes that your meat skin will protect cans from the dangerous rusting effects of water. However, this unit recommends that you do not run out of oxygen. If you do so, you will perish. It is advisable that you do not do that. Once cans has recovered the missing fabricator blueprint, craft and place it within the workshop area. Goodbye. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, the underwater cave might be somewhere over here, possibly. Well, to just go out and discover, right? I don't think there's a location. Oh, there is a location. Okay, so there's a location right here. All right, never mind. They have the location on the map, which I believe is right over here. Yeah, right there. There's the underwater cave. I remember, man. I remember. Hello, Fiona. How are you? So yeah, underwater in this game is actually quite beautiful. The water in this game itself is quite good. It looks really cool. Go into the cave. Look around. Dismantle this. Hello, Tay Tay. How you doing, Tay Tay? No perishing allowed. Got it. <laughs> there we are. That must be it. A mystic sweatshirt. Okay, that was not it. That was something I was not expecting, but now I'm curious. Uh, yes, please. Nice. Now we're looking good. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, learn something up here. Is this the fabricator? This might be it. Learning it? I always love games that have cosmetics. Fabricator. There it is. Cool. Place the fabricator and all that good stuff. Nice. All right. Now, again, I, I will stress this even more. Now, imagine this kind of cool thing where you kind of like go through, go around, discover new things and whatnot. There will be multiple islands. 
many different places that you can go and do this the same exact thing that we just did now which i'm really really excited to see how the game all goes through yeah by the way shay thank you shay for the gifted membership gifted into miss pandy purple i appreciate that thank you very much shay hello there we are all right back to crafting the fabricator this looks like a farm potentially potentially that we can have yeah okay let's do fabricator let's go through here fabricator simple motor okay craft one hello rogue nova says i found your channel by watching my time at sandrock everdream valley and the cove and i'm sorry i know it wasn't called cove but it it's what I can remember. How are you? How are you doing, Rogue Nova? Glad you found the channel. Hope you're doing well, yeah? Good to see you. Welcome in. There we go. Look at our little pants, too. <laughs> we got the fabricator in. All right. Now let's place it. Uh, whoop. There we go. Place this over here. That side. This side. This side subscriber we'll place it right next to the forge as well thank you martin for subscribing hello martin there we go copper bottom we did it uh this unit is very pleased to see that cans did not rust or drown in the gathering of the fabricator knowledge now that this workshop has a functioning fabricator it is time to begin construction on a simple cutter this should be a straightforward task with the only difficulty being in the location of a treadmill Fortunately, this unit is aware of the location of one, but it is under evil water. A cluster of sunken cargo containers is located near the main Critter Cove dock. This unit believes that Cans will find what is needed inside of one of these containers. Once again, or once Cans has completed the task of placing a simple cutter, please return this unit for more instructions. Okay, so yeah, uh, the shipping containers out where we kind of came from or where we arrived on. I think it was that over there, right? Yeah, those docks over here. Oh my gosh. Uh, these docks over here where we arrived on should have shipping containers underneath under the water this is where things get really cool yeah hello yasmin how are you yasmin all right let's see here shipping containers boom look how cool it looks i think it looks brilliant underwater now we don't have a lot of time so let me actually um let me get some air back before i go back under okay let's go and the music changes and everything chop underwater small crate apparently that we learned cool <laughs> there we go open up this get some bricks there we go chop that dismantle the uh weights i guess research barbells is what it's called does that need anything no okay let's go up and get more oxygen real quick All right. Back down. There we go. Hello, Miggy Monkey. How are you? What's going on? Good to see you. Welcome in. I hope you're well. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. We'll go in here. Very good. You're really excited. You caught a live stream. Oh, very good. I'm glad you're excited that you caught a live stream. I see the treadmill, by the way. We'll come back down. I'm so glad that you're here. All right. And go. Must be hard to actually chop something with an axe underwater. There's the treadmill. Perfect. And then I want to go into that container right here, if we can. Let me get some more oxygen before we do that. Oh, wait. That one's closed. Is it? Is it closed? No, it's open. Oh, there's a there's an engine right there too. What is this? A barrel? Nice. We got a barrel. Hello, Josh. Good to see you. Welcome in, Josh. You're doing great. You played the demo before. You made your character with a TV head. Did you give him a TV tail? The cable tail too? Because I saw there was a a TV like cable tail. <laughs> so much stuff in here. Oh, man. Okay. Go, go, go. Go! All right. You can have, like, an outlet as a tail. Hello, Samantha. I'll get more oxygen, and I want to grab that thing right here. 
Have I ever played Paleo Pines? I have. Yes, I have. Uh, not full, but I have played it. But not like a full playthrough or anything like that. There we go. Perfect. Broken motor. Alright, that's all for now. I think that's good. Did I put on the new shirt? I did. I did. Did this game get an update? So, a new playtest came out today. I think you had to sign up before um, a certain time to play the new playtest, but this is the new playtest that released today. And um, the thing with it is that it, it does a lot more. It does, at least from the last time we played the demo, um, they added much more to the game with this new playtest. Uh, tourism is what they add and they added like I think a boat and the ability to go to multiple islands to different islands now so they're they've definitely done a lot more into the game than the last time I played but yeah um we needed to get the simple cutter okay we need a blade and simple motor make the motor probably make a blade at the fabricator there we go how many blades? One? <laughs> I don't even know. One or two? Possibly. Thank you, Josh. Thank you for the kind, uh, kind words. I appreciate that. Thank you. I try my best. We try our best. Yeah, one blade. Oh, wait. About 20 seconds. Let me have a drink. Anyone who played the last playtest is automatically able to play the new one. Okay, that's a good shout. Very good shout. So if you played the last playtest, which was about sometime last year, I guess you are qualified to play this one too. Yeah, it would be it would be interesting. I you know I I I, I could vision this game coming to console and all that. I do I do vision it. Maybe after full release or after early access. Sorry. I can see it, right? Uh, simple cutter, just to double check, right? Yeah, simple cutter. The only thing is, uh, the whatever you do in the playtest, it did say that you will not, it will not like transfer over to the game. So, uh, you will have to restart everything when the game comes out. Which honestly, I don't mind because I kind of like the grind in this game. I do. I kind of like it. There we go. It's not bad. Congratulations, the simple cutter appears to be functioning correctly. This unit believes that a good job is appropriate. The workshop is now almost fully functional. The only station that is still needed is a stone kin to make bricks in. Please craft and place one so that we can begin brick production. When cans is complete, please inform me that if, when cans is complete, <laughs> How do you know when I'm complete? Please inform this unit. Okay, so stonekin, what do we need for that? Um, we need metal pipes, metal plates, campfire, stone. Metal pipes, metal plates. Let's see, metal pipes, metal plates, uh, metal pipes. We need metal bars. Okay, do we get metal plates from here? No, metal plates are from here. No, okay. Uh, metal plates are from here, okay. Let's craft a couple of these. Let's do about 10. It's gonna take three and a half minutes. Uh, so in the meantime, let's go out and kind of clean up some more. Actually, let's let's throw away some stuff, not throw away some stuff, put some stuff away into the chest, kind of organize our inventory a little bit. Um, so let's see, I want to put in, our, in the home trunk, in the home chest, I would like to place like our clothes, our treasure map instructions, some of our instructions, things like that. I don't know what to do with the tub. We might be able to dismantle that. All the workshop workshop stuff I'll place in here. Can we do... Um... Okay, there we go. Cool. All right. We can quick transfer. Nice. There we go. Cool. All right, that's good. Inventory is cleared up a bit. Now let's do a little bit of things. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of cleaning up. While we wait, more more items, yeah, more resources. Hey, who that dude? How are you? Good to see ya. I got the play test from one of your giveaways. It is fun. Hey, love to hear that. 
<laughs> How are you? Good to say who that dude. <laughs> I do. I'm wondering what the heck this is about, man. What is that? What? What is this like mystical, magical, uh, that? what I want to know. Let's clean up this area that looks to be like a farm plot. The tub is for a boat. That's brilliant. Brilliant. Does it draw from the chest to make things? I'm pretty sure it does. We'll go ahead and uh, test that out, though, just to double check. But I'm pretty sure it does. <clears throat> Grab this. Will it be live tomorrow? Um, yes, most likely. All right, we'll eat some food too here in a sec. Eat some drumsticks. Give me another one. Thank you. Cool. It's just giving me soil. It's giving me a C corn. I don't know what the C corn does. Maybe we can cook it. Yeah, and so in case people aren't also seeing, so anytime you kind of do this, like it says three out of 12 right above my head. Anytime you do certain items, if you dig them up, dismantle them quite a bit, um, whatever it requires, you can then learn how to, I think, make it yourself. Right? Which is cool. <laughs> Hello, Jules. How's it going? You love the eating noises? The how? <laughs> hey, subscribe. Hey. Hello, Le Flay. Le Flay Art. How's it going? Thank you for subscribing. All right, let's go check on our bars now. Should be done. Uh, 40 seconds. Now, can you pick up? Yeah, you can pick up bars that are already done. So we don't have to wait for the entire stack to be done. You can just pick it up and go. I love that. Okay, cool. Uh, just to double check. What do we need again? We need pipes, two pipes. Okay, two pipes. Two pipes. Craft two of those. There we go. And then that should be fine. We'll wait for that. Oh God, don't do that. We'll wait for this to be done so we can make the metal plate. How much that time does that have? About a minute? Okay, cool. We'll experiment cooking the sea corn. Yeah, we'll do that. See what that's all about. Metal plate, one of those please. Thank you. Uh, put some wood in there. Uh, experiment. Oh, dragon fruit. When the heck did I get dragon fruit? All right. Let's experiment with the C cord. You love the crafting in this game? It's pretty fun, right? It's, it's very satisfying. Recipe. Learned grilled veggies. C corn gave us grilled veggies. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, let me just... Uh, let me do that. Let me cook all that up. And then we'll do the dragon fruit, right? We'll cook the dragon fruit. Maybe that will give us like a fruit salad or something. There we go. Let's experiment with the dragon fruit. See how that goes. Spice. We learned spice. Okay. All right. Very well. Don't know what spice does. That might be for something else in the future. Eat some more. Let's grab our materials and then make this skin. There we go. There we are. Oh, wait. We need a campfire and more stone. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy. All right. Let's make a campfire. We need more stone. Okay. Let's just go get a bunch of stone then. Let's go out back. Get a bunch of stone. Dig up some stone. Hello, you've been um, just mass consuming the past live streams. Thank you for being my new favorite watch. I do the doodles while you do the doodles. Oh, very good. Good to see you. Welcome in. I'm glad you're enjoying all the streams and videos. Yeah. Appreciate that. Hello. What is this stuff out here? It's just wood, right? <laughs> oh, beach chairs. Oh, cool. So we might be able to learn beach chairs eventually. Nice. Cool. We need more stone, though. We need to focus on stone. Good to see you, Lofle. I know, the music's nice, isn't it? Pretty nice. Pretty good. 
It kind of, it, it, the music reminds me of like Animal Crossing, right? It does. Yeah, the more berries. This might be stone that we can actually pick right here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. More stone. That should be enough, maybe? Might be enough. Maybe definitely enough now? Let's see. Campfire? Ah, uh, we might be a little bit short still. Quite a bit of stone for that. Ba -da -da. Ooh. All right, let's go to the stone king real quick. I wonder if we'll be able to have lights in here. Seems like it's getting dark in here. Uh, two more stone. Two more stone. We'll head back towards the house. We'll go to sleep here soon. Um, make sure to get all these lamps too, or lights. Street lamps. So that we can replace them throughout the, um, the town. This actually will give us a lot of stone here, right? Should. There we go. Cool. And gives us some metal as well. What is Pokey doing? Pokey's like staring at an empty house. Pokey doesn't want to live in a... Uh, <laughs> Pokey doesn't want to live in a, in a in a tent anymore. Pokey wants an actual house, I think. Oh my lord. Bernard, what are you doing back here? Very well. <laughs> Wait. The Flay Art. Thank you for becoming a member too. Hello. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. And all the new people that became members today. I do have a playlist of members videos. And live streams and stuff like that. You can head on over to the home channel. The very, very like home channel, right? Scroll all the way down and I have a playlist of all members videos and live streams that you can watch and consume. Really cool stuff there. Thank you for becoming a member, by the way. Here we go. All right, should we turn in? Yeah, we should turn in. Why not? Man, one thing about this game is like definitely like getting lost in the sauce where you just want to like dismantle everything. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll go to sleep. And this is actually one of our quests too, is to sleep as well. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. My bad, my bad, my bad. Whoops, Daisy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Perfect. Now go to sleep. Into the bed. Into the morning. Cool. Mm -mm. Hello, Nico. How's it going? Okay. Oh, the music changed too. Huh. I wonder if that's like morning time music. Oh, I like it. I don't know if there's going to be like different seasons or anything like that in this game either. Not sure. Okay, let's make this. This is all for you, Copper Bottom. Rodney Copper Bottom. There you are. I think this thing is big if I remember correctly. Um. Yeah, it's quite round. <laughs> Actually, it can fit right here. Yeah. It can fit right there. There we go. What do you think about that, Copper Bottom? So this unit sees that Cans has completed their task of creating a stonekin and finishing the task of getting this workshop fully operational. Now with a fully operational workshop, we are prepared to begin repairs on the structures in towns. Unfortunately, this unit lacks the data of, on how these meat person structures fit, function. This unit requests Cans speak with Bernard and see how the wishes to remedy this situation on how he remedies this situation. Once the data is found on those buildings, please return to me again. Farewell. This unit found working with cans most efficient. All right. Renard. Where are you, Renard? Hello, buddy. There you are. Uh, don't just walk. Renard! Hey! That was very rude. Walk around me. Would you look at that? You managed to save Copperbottom and get the workshop operational. I knew I was right to put my faith in you, Capital. Now that is done, I need to speak with you or with a representative of the local tourism board. He's going to help make Critter Cove the next hot tourist destination. I believe his name is Checkmark or something. He'll know what to do next in order to start welcoming wealthy travelers to our wonderful city. 
and wealthy travelers mean piles of doubloons. I appreciate that they use the word doubloons. I will. I will say that. I appreciate that. Hello, Lindsay. How are you, Lindsay? Just go see what he has to say and do whatever he asks. It's imperative that you get this all sorted. Every day we're not open for business. It's more loss profit. I have every faith that you'll do a spectacular job. Well, thank you, Renard. I appreciate that. So talk to the... In oh, I remember the inspector. This freaking guy. I remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, this guy. Hello. Hello there. You must be Cans. I'm Inspector Checkmark. And I'll be your local contact to the tourism board. Tourism board? Uh, yeah. I assume the Renard must have told you, but perhaps it slipped his mind. The tourism board helps get towns in the region to accept guests. It's our job to set up shop in these backwater towns and make sure they're up to current standards before we literally add them to travel maps. The tourism shop offers wide array of blueprints, decorations, and other goodies that you're going to need in order to turn this town into a prime destination. From the look of things, you'll need all the help I have to offer. First things first, you're going to need to get that old lighthouse functioning. If you want cruise ships to ever arrive, you're going to need to let them know you are ready for business. Fortunately for you, I planned for just such an event and have a blueprint that should help you fix it on the house. Just give that to your handy bot and it would it should be able to take care of the rest. So the lighthouse way up there at the top left. In the meantime, I'm going to work on setting up my shop. Once you've managed to get that lighthouse working again, come visit me. Good luck, Cans. It was very nice to meet you. All right, so give the blueprints to Copper Bottom. Let's do it. Let's go. I hope Miss Fanny is in this game too. <laughs> Miss Fanny and Miss Copperbottom, please. You know what? You could be a TV, you could be a dragon, you could be a fairy, you could be a dog, you could be a cat, you could be a fox. Why can't you be a robot? Like Copperbottom? Somebody needs to explain that to me. Hello. Greetings. This unit is pleased to see you again. Is there some function this unit can perform for you? Well, I have something for you, Copperbottom. Look at his mustache, it's a wrench. This unit thanks Cans for supplying it with the needed blueprints for the lighthouse. Oh, very good. With this data, this unit will begin to survey the structure to de determine what materials will be needed to initiate repairs. The survey of a structure will take some time, so meat person must experience patience while this unit works. Once this unit has completed gathering the data on the structure, please speak to it again to get a full report. All right, so wait, wait for survey of the lighthouse to be completed. Copper Bottom will wave me down when it's ready. So he's going to go over there. He's going to take a look at it. Um, in the meantime, let's go throughout the town and try to see if we can get all these um, lamps, street lamps taken care of as well. What the heck is Anchor? Anchor, whoa, that was really cool. Wait, did Anchor just like walk up here? He did. He walked up, he walked up here and you physically saw him visually walk up to the post board, to the community board, post something on there, and then walked away. That was really cool. Is that the tourism guy? That is this inspector check mark. Okay, anyways, I'm getting distracted. Street lamps. Ah, uh, that was really cool. You don't see that a lot, huh? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Street lamp. Hello, Jody. How are you? The characters are cuties in this game. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Pretty unique. This character designs scratch a creative itch. You love them? <laughs> They're pretty cool, aren't they? You need to share your boyfriend finally just got promoted after months of waiting? Hey! I don't have a clapping button. How dare I? Um, you know what? Since it was months and months of battle. Okay, congratulations first and foremost i don't have a clapping button because i keep forgetting to add it to my 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 stream deck but that is awesome news great news to hear love that love that indeed <laughs> there we go cool all right um how many street lamps away we have three more oh there's one right there do that one dun, 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 dun. Okay, one more right there. No, two more. Two more now. Two more. Sorry. Two more? One more? I don't know. <laughs> that many more. Okay. 
one more now all right there we go this is really cool by the way look at this if you haven't seen this this is like my favorite part of the district now there will be i think uh if i remember correctly there there will be times where you build like a commercial building right and i always remember like this because i think we build a commercial building over here i love this the umbrellas and things like that looks really good kind of reminds me of coco in a way uh, by the way, street lamps are now uh, a thing that we can make. So that's cool. I'll talk to the rest of the people and see if they need to be moved in. Because it looks like Pokey really needs to move in somewhere. <laughs> Pokey keeps like looking through all the houses and whatnot. <sighs> oh, Sammy. Hello, Sammy. Hey, Kenz, what a relief that you stopped by. I'm looking for a new place to live and I just can't make up my mind. I need a second opinion from you specifically. What do you think about this place? It's nice, but it's... Is it nice, nice? Uh... <laughs> I mean, I don't... If I could choose where he gets to live, Sammy... Um... I don't know if I want Sammy living here. It doesn't look right. Sorry, Sammy. Really? Ugh, fur balls. That's fine. It's not like there aren't plenty of other places for me to scope out. Try another place, Sammy. I would rather you live over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I want you to live. That's good stuff. Cool. Cool. All right. This looks perfect for you, Sammy. We'll put Sammy and Pokey next to each other, maybe. Um, yeah. This is your place, Sammy. It looks great. Okay, then that's it. This is going to be my new pad. Now we just need to collect the stuff and I'll fix it up. I'm so ready not to not sleep on the beach anymore. Crabs are surprisingly territorial. All right. What do we need for this? Uh, planks and bricks, which we actually have bricks. We just need to grab them out of the, um, the house real quick. I don't want Pokey uh, living next to me. No offense, Pokey. <laughs> Not the kind of pokey I want. Maybe the pokey that you eat, but not the pokey that pokes me. Um, let's see. Let's go here and grab the bricks. Perfect. That works out. Hello, Kylie. How you doing, Kylie? Oops. Completed. There we go. Sammy has a house now, and this will look really good now. All refurbished and whatnot. There we go. Sammy, come get it. Look at him. I want to see what it looks like. How long will this take you, Sammy? All right, you know what? I'll come back. I guess it might take him a while because this guy has been pounding on this for a while too. Where did Pokey go? I want Pokey to live next to Sammy. That's what I kind of want. Yeah. Looks like your shop's open, by the way, too. You think Copper Bottom's done by now? There's a good chance Copper Bottom's done. Surveying this lighthouse. Let's see. Oh, I see him way up there. We should probably head up there. See if he's done. Unless he's going to be done tomorrow. Possibly. Absolutely. By the way, there's rain. I don't remember there being rain in this game, but there's rain now. Nintendo Game! Hello, Nintendo! How are you? Good to see you. You like you like the shirt I have on? The Wonka shirt? You like the Wonka shirt? <laughs> By the way, everyone in chat, Nintendo Gaming, uh, go check out Nintendo Gaming. Go check out the channel. She has a channel. It's wonderful. If you love cozy games, go check out Nintendo Gaming for sure. Absolutely. This unit has completed the survey of the supplies needed to repair the lighthouse. A donation box will be provided so cans can su uh, supply the necessary resources for this unit to complete repairs. The lighthouse will need a new lighthouse light to be functional. This unit has knowledge of another damaged lighthouse off the coast of Hot Tropic, not Hot Topic. Cans may be able to locate a replacement lighthouse, uh, lighthouse light there. Once all the resources have been provided, this unit will initiate repairs. Okay, very good. Okay, cool. So just to double check here, glass shards, planks, can we donate that stuff now? Or do we need the full send? No, we could donate that stuff now. Yeah. Cool. All right. Very good. 
The Wonka shirt, you love it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Um, now, to get to off to the coast, right? Hang on, let me just real quick read that. A new house for Sammy that's going to be done here in a sec. Uh, we'll light up the light, light up the town here in a bit. Oh, yeah. Um, tourism board. Repaired the lighthouse. Yeah. So... He suggested you searching an old lighthouse off the coast uh, of Hot Tropic for a replacement lighthouse. Okay, so that's going to be... Let me see here. Right there. So we got to get all the way over there. By the way, this is the map. I don't think I've showed off the map yet, but this is the map. <laughs> Look how big this map is. Look at all the different islands now. And I believe with this new playtest that they've added, they've added new islands and new places to go. I think they've added a new boat too. So the last playtest we did, I don't think these islands existed yet. I'm not sure. I don't think they did. But we got to go to the hot tropics so that we can get the uh, thing. But we need a boat, of course. Yeah. The storm has brought a bounty of sal salvageable items. Interesting. So let's go ahead and actually readjust our spot here. And let's go to track the street lamps. Let's do the street lamps, I think. That'd be a good idea. I like hot tropic or hot topic more. <laughs> oh, hello, Pokey. Do you have something to say? It's about time you showed up. I've been standing here all day waiting to teach you a thing or two. Are you going to teach me how to do a bow? What do you see when you look around here? Wait, don't answer that. I know you'll just say something dumb and make me mad. Let me tell you what I see. Plenty of space that could be put to good use. And do you know what would be of good use? Gardening. Oh, baby. Yes. Surprise. That's right, Pokey. Likes to grow stuff and has a bit of green thumb. You want to fight about it, yeah? Anyways, I figured that maybe, I don't know, I figured you might like to give it a try. First thing you're going to need is a watering can. Plants won't grow until they've been watered. Easy, right? Watering can. Do you expect me to do everything for you? Find a watering can. Why don't you? What do you want to, what do you want me to draw you? What do you want me to do? Draw you a map or something? Fine, I'll mark a place on your map where you can find plans for a watering can. Once you've got that, come see me again, and I'll tell you what to do next. Very good. Um, way up there. Got it. Right in the shipwreck up there. Let's go do that. Head on over there. Hello, Nick. How's it going, Nick? Good to see you. Welcome in. Bum, bum. Magali. Hello, Magali. How are you, Magali? Oh, wait. Yeah, the storm really did wash up stuff because this was not here before. Cool, dude. Nice. I love that. Broken motors. Cook pots. Okay, we'll go down here because there's some stuff down here, right? Yeah, there's this cool, like, sh uh, broken ship here. Grab all this stuff. It's going to take a little bit of time. Actually, I don't think I'm getting that. Pick up that. Pick up that. And this is, I think this might be the, um, well, not the gardening, but down here with all this stuff, this is going to be like very useful stuff to have for when we, um, start to make a boat and whatnot. Yeah. There's the wife. Hello, Danielle. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day at work. Let's see. Let's go down here. Hello, Mitchell. How are you, Mitchell? we go dismantle all this i'm taking it all <laughs> i am i'm taking it all i'm a i'm a little bit a li little bit of a loot hoard hoarder hoarder a <laughs> little bit of a hoarder quite quite a bit uh hang on a sec i didn't realize um okay zero and one okay so zero and one cool so over here, we'll get like learning of the watering can. Okay, cool. Oh, there it is. Hot Tropic. He even shows the name too. Love that. What about over here? Shallow Sands. I want to know what some of these things are. Dive site. Okay, dive site. Ship and a shipwreck. So cool. This game is really cool. Yeah, it is. I like it a lot. Rusty Anchor. Do that. And then we'll probably go ahead and try to build ourselves some... 
what is it lights some street lamps finally let's go there's nothing wrong with being a loop goblin <laughs> oh yeah i think the cook pot is is could be used for the upgrade on the on the yeah yeah, yeah i think you might be right um check here cooking street lamp there we go there's the cook pot right there you can actually make uh street lamp what do we need for this we need glass and we need need metal plates how do we get glass i guess we can look into that we haven't looked into all of this so that gives us brick uh cloth spring metal thread all that we might need a fine glass i think is what we need to do we might need a fine glass metal plates metal beams yeah so we're, we're gonna need to go get some glass and what else do we need just the metal plates okay cool yeah let's go see if we can find ourselves some little glass shards we might be able to find them here right glass yeah there you go there's some glass with the uh cans we'll chop this up too we gotta get the fence as well cool dude what is that can i have that we haven't even explored everything over here one thing about this game is like the exploration is something you want to do a lot always fun kind of going around seeing all the cool things and maybe all the hidden things too like what the heck is that oh yeah that's where the boat i think kind of comes and goes your boat i think the magnet the that magnet giant magnet thing we'll talk to anchor because we haven't talked to anchor in some time either we'll do that hello anchor so you managed to dig up that treasure did you oh good for you uh, that must that be one of the most important skills to being a good sea dog sink me me thinks ye might need some sort of memento in order to remember this day by something that will show the world that you are a serious sea captain now old anchor has just the thing here you go i think it should fit your head without any troubles now you'll look like a proper lad off the sea be well cans is he gonna give me a hat he did give me a hat and he gave me a hundred doubloons well good for him but he gave me two hats <laughs> I think I, uh, right, okay. I'm so good, I got two. Wonderful. Look at him. Let's talk to him again. You mean the land I just was hoping to run into. Old Anchor has been doing some thinking with his old shark brain, and I realize that you're not much of a sea captain if you ain't got a ship. Fortunately, you could say me, you could say me friends have built their fair share of ships in me time. I'd be more than pleased to volunteer me ship riding services to you. But me old cartilage ain't what it used to be, and I can't be trekking all over this island looking for parts. That be your responsibility. In order for Anchor to be yeah, a fine craft that won't sink when the weather gets rough, you're going to need three things. Well-known fact, the number one cause of ships sinking be water getting in them. So the first thing you'll need be a seaworthy hull. Also, it keeps your boots dry. You'll also be needing some sort of engine to make the ship go where you want it her to. Trust old anchor, don't leave your travels up to the sea. She'll be a fickle, spiteful mistress, and also terrible at directions. And finally, be on the lookout for a lantern post of some sort. It's dark out there, and you might be wanting some light if it wants to do some light reading or something. Find those items, bring them back to me, and anchor will make you a fine vessel. You've got your order, sailor, now. Very good. Okay. So that will teach us how to like make a whole uh, whole thing and whatnot. So let's look into that, shall we? So we have the uh, we have the tub, we have the grass cutter engine. We might already have the old coat hanger. Let's go to the house and see. But we know I at least have two of the three. He's still smashing over there on his house very well. <laughs> Hello, Arnica. How are you, Arnica? Good to see you. Okay, so we have, whoops, wrong trunk. We have the grass cutter engine. Where's the bathtub? Where did the bathtub go? Oh, there's the bathtub right there. We have the bathtub. I think the only thing we don't have right now is the, um, we don't have the coat hanger. So we got to go find the coat hanger. Let's place all this stuff in the workshop trunk. There we go. Perfect. 
And then we'll hold on to this stuff. What is this? Oh yeah, spice. We'll put the spice. Actually, we'll put the spice in the home trunk and put our a second hat in there. All right, cool. We got to find the coat hanger now. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Okay, so a stout, a ship can sail on. All right, this way. Uh, Pokey, I don't want you to live in over there either. Pop quiz, cans. I've seen lots of good places to, to live, but just can't make up my mind. Do you think this place says Pokey lives here? Does it give the whole back off vibe to you? Um, no. Whoa, that settles it. If you don't like it, it must be perfect. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> I'll take plenty of materials to get this place fixed up, but I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Thanks for volunteering to do the gathering, by the way, and for la a complete lack of taste. Well... I guess that's where Pokey's gonna live. Um, planks and bricks. I just put all that stuff away. <coughs> I'll get it all back. Looks like my front door is a refrigerator. Doesn't it? Uh, yep. Yep. Thank you. He did trick me, didn't he? He did. He absolutely did. There we go. Scallywag. How was the chocolate factory, Sim? It was fun. Had a really good time. Yeah, really good time. I really enjoyed it. All right, so Pokey will start uh, doing that. And then let's go back to the searching for the lantern thingamabobber. Right, actually, you know what? Can I, um, can I add that to the quest list? Yeah, track that. Perfect. There we go. Oh, we're going to need to make more food. We have some veggie salad, though. Okay. Uh, this could be taken down. Let's take care of that. Look for a lantern, a coat rack. Now, it does show... Where's the map? It does show spot two, spot two, spot two. Now, this is where the bathtub was. I'm pretty sure. So we got that already. Um, it might be in here, the coat rack. Keep our eye out for that. I'm gonna take down all the lamps while I'm doing this too. Let's see. What is this? Pick up? Oh, it's a stick. I think the grass cutter was over here, maybe? I think it was over here. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. I know more hats. We need more hats. That's what we need. More hats. More hats. There it is. There's the coat hanger. Got it. Okay. So let's go on back to Anchor and tell them that we have everything that we need to officially make a vessel. Yeah. <laughs> is this game going to be a continuous series when you? When series you play more than just today, if enough people like it, then yes, it will be. It all depends on how people like it. Um, Anchor. Have you managed to find the supplies Anchor needs to make your ship yet? I have something for you. There you are. Sink me. You find all the parts that I'd be fix needing to fix you a ship. This will be a fine vessel, I tell you. Well, as fine as a vessel that can be made out of a tub and a lawnmower engine anyhow. All Anchor is going to be getting started on putting her all together for you. While you'll be waiting, uh, you should go let Renard know that you'll be having a ship soon. He's been yapping me gills off, asking about when you'd had one. I'm sure by the time you found out what that land lubbin rant would be wanting, I'll be having your ship put together. It's very hard to read that dialogue. I am not... I'm not a seaworthy person of dialogue. I have I stumble on that too much. Hello, Alita Dragon. Hello, Miriam. Ah, Kans, I've heard the anchor is helping you procure your very own ship. That is most opportune news. You can use your boat to explore the many islands beyond our shores, all of which hold the resources needed to support our community. Most importantly are the people who can be found on them. And if we're ever to grow, we're going to need to get to more uh, people to move here. 
it will be up to you to act as an ambassador and sell the dream of Critter Cove. I'm sure someone of your talents will have no trouble. No trouble at all. And as luck would have it, I've already figured out the first place you should start looking. I have it on good authority that a sailor is stuck on the nearby island of Shallow Sands. If you were to say, sail up to this poor soul and offer assistance, I bet they'd be so grateful that they'd jump at the chance to move here. Yes, yes, that settles it. Uh, you will go to Shallow Sands immediately. Good luck, Cans. All right, very well. Bring in as many people as you want. That's right. Hello, Manda. How are you, Manda? Uh, Anchor. We need to go back to Anchor. Oh, is Anchor closed? Anchor is closed. What time is it? It's 4 p.m. I don't know if Anchor hangs out anywhere else. Oh, there he is. He's out here on the dock. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. There we go. I must say she's a fine looking craft. Well, she'd be a craft anyways. Congratulations. You're now officially the captain of your own ship. One more thing. It's the law of the sea that a new captain give his ship a new name. Trust me, you don't want to break the laws of the sea. Once sea lawyers get involved, you're sunk. So, got a good name in mind. Oh, crap. S. S. Minnow. Johnson. Nope. S. S. Give me a ship name. Give me a ship name. Give me a shit name. Ship name, not shit name. <laughs> the SS Susie? That seems too direct. The SS. And it doesn't even necessarily need to be the SS. What do they name boats nowadays? Hello, Sammy. The SS Dan Danielle? Okay, listen. I would have to be writing that. Is that. The SS Danielle. And that's something I ride. Drive. I wanted it to name the SS Minnow Johnson. That's what I was trying to go for. Ahoy, Mary Celeste, Sunken Camp. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty good one. The Sunken Can. Can. The <laughs> Sunken Cans. I wonder if we'll be able to um to change names of boats because you can have multiple boats in this game and things like that or you can upgrade your boat and whatnot so i wonder if you'll how like customization will work with your boat in this game are you sure you want to call her the sucking cans don't worry too much since you can change it later okay well there you go that just uh answered that question so that's wonderful yes it is a fine name for a fine vessel treat her well as she will probably probably never sink on you and if she does tell davy jones that anchor says ahoy well, don't just stand there gawking like a land-loving wall-eyed gutter snap snipe. Hop in and take her for a spin. Okay, let's do it. Drive it up. Whoa, all right. All right, on the sea. Off the hot topic or hot traffic, sorry. <laughs> So yes, this game is massively open world. <laughs> uh, pretty big, in, 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 in pretty big indeed. <laughs> Hello, Gremlin. <laughs> Could have named it Bella, huh? I wonder. I don't even remember what I named it the first time I played. I'll have to go back to my old uh, VOD playtest of this game and see what I named it. I forgot what I named it. Okay, uh, lighthouse. There's a lighthouse indeed. So again, the one thing I really like about this game is just the exploration in all. Like the exploration, exploring in this game is super fun. And they do have like Easter eggs and things like that. I believe this is the island that has it. Look at that little freaking mouse rock. Hello? Yes, I, I approve. Uh, over here we go. There we go. We need to get in there. Yep, we need to get this for our lighthouse back at the Critter Cove. Thank you. Dismantle this. There we go. Lighthouse light. Cool. Uh, there's also something else we need to get over here too. What was it? It was the learn the watering can. Yeah, we gotta get the watering can thing. 
bathtub is a boat that's right would a jet ski be a toilet you're right about that especially if it's a uh you ever go to those public restrooms where like you flush the toilet and it's like launch sequence launch sequence like take off like it's the freaking most powerful like drain of all time powerful flush that's the jet ski one uh there is that person up there i don't want to do that quite yet actually maybe i do hang on a sec there's that whole thing up there we'll get to that in a second we also need to look for uh glass too while we're out here yeah do you get bigger ships yeah you'll get bigger boats and stuff like that there we go hello yes i know there's so much to gather you there's a lot of looting and a lot of a lot of looting and a lot of scooting in this game by the way that's an old loom we just got there we are there's more glass very good very good do we get glass from the trash cans we might yeah yeah because we're on the lookout for glass hello what is going on over here what is this all right very well sponge leaf lettuce i just got the music's kind of being weird oh is that another loom I got another loom. Another old loom. Okay. We'll go up to this uh, cat statue too. Dun, 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 that flush you scared me sucked me down the toilet. Exactly that one. Hello, hello, hello. Sniff. Hi, new guy. Are you here to ask the statue for advice too? Its advice is pretty bad, but statues have stone for brains. So not sure what I was expecting. I'm Sniff, and who are you? I'm Cans. I found your stream not long ago and have watched a ton of videos. I heard you say something about Amazon Prime and Twitch. What is that about? So if you have Amazon Prime, you can make a Twitch account and it gives you a free subscription. Uh, that's what that is. You can use your free subscription once a month on any creator on Twitch. You get a free sub is basically what it is. You don't look like a cans. You look all colorful and bendy, but that must just be those yellow berries I ate earlier. Huh? If you say so, I'll ask. Have you seen any blueberries that grow on a hidden beach? This statue says I need to eat a few or something. And one thing I've learned in life is that if you, if a statue orders you to do something, you better do it. I can get you some. Oh, well, that would be just swell. The statue's in the middle of a really good story and I hate to miss the ending. All right berries for you the music's acting so weird right now look at that that's good stuff right there though yes give me that yes yep bricks so there's the blueberries cool we'll get more i don't know how many we need let's see does it show how many we need uh new home for sammy berry problems is it just any? Maybe just any. Let's see if we can find some more maybe over here. Oh, we haven't gotten to that, huh? I mean, that's a beauty. That is a beauty. Let's go inside. Can we go inside? It's a big ship. It's a big boat. I want on top of it. I want all of it. Give me all in it. Yeah, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm in it. What the heck is this? What is that? Pick up. I got Frankenwaddle. It's a duck. I got Frankenwaddle. Who the heck is Frank and why does he waddle? Frankenwaddle. Okay. Oh God, the mouse is even bigger up there. Wait a sec. Big mouse up there. There's more berries over here. It's the trippy berries. That's right. It's the trippy berries. <laughs> okay. I got some berries for you. Is this what you want? 
hey is that the weird guy again you were supposed to be getting a hidden blueberry for something right here i have some for you here you are ah, why would you give me this you know what the statue told me to eat something just like this weird right eat that you know what i'm gonna eat this that'll show you hmm i don't feel at all different but things have gotten a lot less colorful I suppose I should give you something in return for helping me out. I don't wear this much anymore, so here you go. Oh, cosmetics? Mystic sweatshirt of green. Maybe I'll just pick a few yellow berries for the road. Of course, I'm not sure where that road is going to lead. You can move to Critter Cove. Has anyone told you that you're very bossy? Hey, I just had this best idea. I'm going to move to Critter Cove. I'll meet you at your boat. Now, see you there, Cans. <laughs> Okay. Now, I think, I, if I remember correctly, if I were to eat the berries myself, oh. does that do anything? Hello. Can I talk with you? There is something you can do with this statue, and, I, I, and it kind of escapes my mind at this moment. Uh, they talk about yellow berries, yeah? There might be other kinds of berries around here, possibly. Let's see. I'll walk around. I'll, I'll look around before I'll head back. Because it is getting dark. You have to eat a bunch of berries. Oh. Is that what it is? Oh. Gosh. I'm a little scared. <laughs> just, just, just put all the berries. Just eat all the berries. Eat every berry on this island. Oh, it's getting even darker. <laughs> the yellow berries. That's what it is. They're by the beach. Okay. They're right there. All right, here we go. Everyone get ready. We're about to, like, send it here. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, behold, Meowzy, avert your eyes, for it is Lord of the Sunbeam, Master of the Curly Ribbons, Chaser of Mice, and Swatter of the Yarn Ball, Meowzy, the Fluffiest. I have watched you running and jumping and smashing. Yes, I have enjoyed the smashing the most. You please me, small person. To show my pleasure, I, in my infinite glory, present to you a gift. A gift you must find. Hunting for shiny things is the best part of any gift I have spoken. I command you to find the gift, and only then shall you behold the wonder I have bequeathed unto you, unto you, and know the full extent of my generosity. Once you've successfully found my glorious gift, return to me, and I shall speak with you again, if I am so inclined. I think this is the, um, the duck. I, Meowzy, the Fluffies, have spoken. I'm done with you now. It might be the duck, no? Pick that up. I could be wrong, though. Treasure map. Is that the, um... It might not, no. It might not. Because I don't think that's where the... What the frick? <laughs> Holy crap, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Poco nut. Okay, we got Poco nut. <laughs> uh. Is this where the... Okay, wait. Check. Okay, that is... Okay, I think it was. I th Well, maybe it wasn't. It's so dark now. Let's swim off to the other side. I think it was. I think it was. The, it had to have been the... It had to have been the duck, right? Should I eat the blueberry now? Oh. Here we go. That's it. That's the treasure spot. Yeah. Speak to Meowzy about it. Hang on. Let me speak to Meowzy. I need like a light, dude. I need I need I need a flashlight. That's what I need. Uh Meowzy, I have found what Oh my lord. <laughs> you have further amused me with your finding of my treasure. I shall speak with you again. You have found my favorite toy that I spent many hours battling or batting and swatting for my amusement. I am now done with that toy and it bores me. But you shall keep it and look upon it with wonder. Meowzy has spoken. I am done with you again. Seek me out elsewhere, and perhaps I shall grant you more of my treasures. Or perhaps I shall swat you soundly with my mighty paw. Nice. So I guess we can kind of like find um, Meowzy um, different islands and things like that. So you eat the blueberry, and it brings you back to, I guess, reality. Back 
to life back to reality i just ate the what did i just eat okay i think i ate i don't know what i ate i think i ate a coconut possibly don't know what i might have just ate a leaf i don't know what i just ate there but anyways and nonetheless uh meowzy has now spoken what do you have for us we have a bunch of looms what can i do with frankenwaddle i wonder put on the green sweater nice cool all right let's head back because we are way past our bedtime and i think um sniffs is that the name of the person sniffs <laughs> is uh very much so uh waiting in our boat there they are no don't talk to sniff we're going to critter cove where are we going oh great that's where i'm supposed to be going i was worried that i got on the wrong boat uh was there another boat that i don't know about here we go back we go see for light nice you can change your camera angle too oh cool is this the right way okay yeah this is the right way off we go back to critter cove <laughs> There's more of those statues now. That is cool. I know, right? It's really cool. I like it a lot. Hello, Ninja. How are you doing, Ninja? So on many different islands, you probably can run into Meowzy and probably go on another fetch quest. And Meowzy probably will do a lot for you in the future. Maybe more throughout the game and whatnot. But now we're going to have a whole nother resident. I don't know where I want to put Sniff. As far as like oh hello as far as like um you know where do you want to live sniff i realize they have like a turtle back do they have like a turtle backpack they do have like a turtle back are you a turtle i guess you could be a turtle all right um back home we go we gotta sleep it's it's too too dark too dark indeed too dark for my liking until we get street lamps in town and things like that right but we can now at least kind of worry and start focusing on the lighthouse. Sammy should be done here soon. All right, let's get inside. Sleep. With our new green sweatshirt. I guess I could put the yellow sweatshirt in the box now. Kind of goes with our eyes, right? Yeah. All right, let's place that in there. And then Frankenwaddle. Um... I guess we'll hold on to Franken Waddle for now. There we go. I know. I bring them to the island. Don't make them shelter. Yes, Sammy. How are you? You're just in time to witness the grand opening of my freshly remodeled home. It's going to be sweet. Not only will I no longer live on the beach with mean old crabs, but I can finally unpack all my stuff too. And don't think I've forgotten you, my friend. I got you a little something that I hope shows how much I appreciate all the hard work you did for me furniture item basic chair i have two chairs now okay now it's time for the big reveal just a moment oh there you go a nice purple house can we go into sammy's house please be quiet i'm sleeping okay <laughs> sub rush thank you for using your prime sub on me on twitch good to see you thank you for that appreciate the prime sub thank you for using that on me good to see you thank you for the support you like the green yeah green is your favorite color love that should we place franken waddle in my freaking home that could be something but we could do that too um okay so that's done so sammy has the house there uh let's go talk to pokey pokey might be done too hello pokey about time you stopped by. It didn't seem right to reveal my new house without you around, considering all the help you gave me. I also wanted to give you this to say thanks. I know I can be a bit prickly at times, but I still like to recognize when someone does right by me. A bed? Is that a brand new bed? Yeah. Now give me just a moment and we'll get the first look at my new home. I'm honestly really excited to not be leaving on the beach anymore. Very well. Sammy's taking a cat nap. That's true. Can we go into Pokey's house? Everybody's going to be sleeping, huh? <laughs> Please be quiet. I'm sleeping. Okay, fine. My lord. I guess it is six in the morning, but sure. We'll go ahead and um, 
We'll, go, we'll come on in and we will, uh, we will, uh, take this raggedy old bed. We were sleeping on wood, were we? We'll take that. And then we'll go here. And the, hey, look at our bed actually matches us. Our bed is green as well. We have green, uh, green. We have green comforters. Nice. Okay. Frank and Waddle, you're going down, buddy. We'll have Frank right next to us, too. Perfect. And then, yeah, we'll have another basic chair over here for now. There we go. Even our chairs are green, too. Thank you, Ninrox, for gifting out a membership to Sammy. I appreciate that. We hit 300 likes. Hey, thank you, everyone, for hitting that 300 likes. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button, too, so you know the next time I go live and whatnot and keep up to date as well. <laughs> you usually watch on YouTube very well, Sub Rush. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Should I put Frank and Waddle on a, on a chair? Put Frank and Waddle on the chair. And thank you for following, too, on Twitch as well. Hello. Actually, not the candle. Frank and Waddle. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Frank and Waddle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh oh. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh, there we go. Okay. Oh God, I think I broke it. Oh no. Wait. I can't stop running. I can't stop running. Oh no. Wait. Outside. I can't stop running. I have magical powers. Hang on. We might need to save real quick. We 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 we, we, we might need to reload. Okay, save, we'll save, save, we'll reload it. Hang on a sec. All right, very well. Okay, load, yes, yes. <laughs> hey, creatives, how you doing? What's going on? Good to see you, creatives. What's going on? Good to see you. Might have broken the game a little bit. Maybe. Freaking Frankenwaddle. Frankenwaddle did it. Hello, Gothic Richard. How's it going? <laughs> Wait a sec. Loading up. Yeah, it's the berries. I know I need that auto running in my life. In my real life. Okay, we're back. Um, Put down... What was it? It was a... It was a small crate, yeah? I guess so. Yeah, okay. We'll actually put this closer to our bed here. There we go. We'll place it closer to the bed. So that Frank and Waddle can be uh, close to me and all that. There we go. And thank you, Le, Le, Fle, Le Fle Art, for following on Twitch as well. Hello. Thank you. We'll put that there. We'll put the candle there as well. I wonder if I can light the candle. You know what? I should do it the way I was told to do it. <laughs> okay. That goes there. Candle goes there. Frank, you're going in the chair. <gasps> Frank can't even go in the chair. Oh, yeah. All right. Frank doesn't go in the chair. Frank goes right there. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, T, for resubscribing on Twitch for four months. Hello, T. Thank you for that. How are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you, T. Uh, whoops. Wait, what is going on here? Uh-oh. Did I invert the controls on accident? Hang on a sec. I did. Okay. I've inverted the controls. Maybe because I was in decoration mode. Okay, whoa. Okay, so S is right, W is left, A and D are up and down. <laughs> I keep breaking the game. Okay. Continue. Reload. I did. I broke it again. Try again, try again, try again. 
We're good. We're good. It's the Franken Waddle. I think that's what it is. Franken Waddle is the one that's breaking the game. How dare you, Frank? You little friggin' duck. You little duck. All right, no more touching Frank. Frank is fine where he's at. <laughs> All right, what is going on with this blue? Uh oh. Uh oh. The controls are still inverted. Um. Um. Uh. Uh oh. I can't even go inside. <gasps> I can't go inside the house. Oh wait, now I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Are we good? There we go. I think. I think so. I can't tell. No, we're not good. We're still inverted. Thank you, Sophie. We're following on Twitch as well. Uh, I might have to reload the game. Let's relaunch it. Just give me a moment. Hang on a sec. Let me relaunch the game real quick. We'll relaunch it. This is a good time to uh, add this game to your wish list if you haven't already. Just saying. We'll relaunch it. I really hope I didn't save it like that. It looked like the town was under underwater too. Yeah. We might have to load an earlier save. That's true. All right. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. <laughs> Flooded the whole island. I uh, reloaded in uh, a later, a later save or later save, earlier save. That's what I did. Yeah. I know. Back to it's the Dave the Diver. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Okay. Here we go. We'll check the settings too. If it still persists. Okay. There we go. Settings are. It's all good. It's all good. Frank, don't you move. I'm going to be your master. You understand me? Listen here, Frank. I am your master. Everything's good. Perfect. We're good. We're good. Controls are fine. We're good. Let's get back to it. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Um, so we still need to learn to make the watering can, right? Um, what do we still got going on over here? Light up the town. Let's actually go look at that real quick. We might be able to make some street lamps now. We'll light up the town. Well done, well done, well done. Hello, Copper Bottom. Do you have anything to say to me, Copper Bottom? I doubt you do. Street lamps. Okay, metal plates is what we need to make now. Uh, was it this one? Yeah. Craft these. Two. There we go. And then I think I have enough glass. How much glass do I need for this again? Um... Oh, wow. Five a piece. So, yeah, we can make two lamps. No, we can make one lamp because we'll have three metal plates. Okay. All right. And that's brick. I think we have plenty of brick right now. And slabs. We haven't needed slabs yet. All right. We'll wait for this to go. <laughs> I don't know. It might have been interacting or maybe it was a furniture thing that placing down a furniture item was making the controls all wonky there. Really not sure. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let's cook some stuff that we haven't cooked yet. For instance, let's experiment with this sponge leaf. Can we do that? Sponge leaf. I don't know how I got it, but I got it somehow. Sponge leaf me. Grilled veggies. Okay, so that also makes grilled veggies. Very well. Um, let's experiment again. Let's do poco nut. What does poco nut make? I don't know if we did the blueberries yet. Maybe we have. <laughs> Pick up sugar. So we got sugar and spice and everything nice. Just like powder puff girls. Love it. Next. Soothing berry. Yeah. Is this game on Steam? Only on Steam right now. Yeah. You saw the other. You saw my other stream and you understand why I was wearing the shirt today. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, baby. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we need to go get more grilled meat, too. There we go. 
Uh, metal bars. Metal bars. Metal bars. Let's do a full 10 stack here. I guess I could have just hit 10. We'll let that go. All right. One street lamp ready to go. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Street lamps. Now, this is the fully functioned street lamp, so it should give us some light. I'm going to put it around our house first. Just because, you know, we did this. We did this. We got to let people know we did this. Like, we did this. Right in front of our window. Right there. Yep. And it's colorful lights, too. Even better. Oh, you see that, Sammy? You like it? You like what you see? Do you like that? Oh, hey, Cans. Wow, you look so much better from last time we spoke. Sorry, I didn't even know I looked bad. Uh, I finished placing things. Oh, well, you did it. Thank you. The new light looks amazing. It's not much, but every journey begins with just one step, right? We can get more, uh, get some more lights up and maybe a bench or two. Oh, and some sort of game table. I'm getting way ahead of myself, but with you around, I just can't help it. I think Critter Cove is going to turn into a great place to call home. You know what? I was holding on to this thing from back home, but I want you to have it instead. Uh-oh. What is that, dude? Put it somewhere in town so everyone can enjoy it. We've all got to pitch in to make this place a better place, or make this a better place after all. I think that was a, that was a park bench, yeah? Yeah, a park bench. Nice. Cool. Thank you, Sammy. You know what? We'll put the park bench right next to pokey's house i know pokey is kind of like anti-social right uh and kind of like oh, i don't want to deal with people but this is what she gets for tricking me into the house thing so park bench goes right there at the front door perfect all right let's go look into the uh lighthouse now yeah <clears throat> that's pokey's fault for sure Absolutely Pokey's fault. Yeah. Okay, so we can at least place that in there. So that's good. We need stone slabs. We need a little bit of wood planks. That's all taken care of. We need one piece of glass and we need five pieces of stone slabs. Okie dokie. We can do that. Let's throw that in there. I'm very glad that you can put some materials in there. Even though you don't have like all the materials on you. Sometimes games make it to where like you have to have every single material on you before you can like actually place it all in there. I'm glad this game doesn't do that. That looks like a park bench. That is a park bench. I guess we haven't even gone up here yet, huh? All right, so glass and stone slabs. That's what we need. Also, we need drumsticks. So let's drop down here. I don't really know what the health is for in this game either. Sometimes when I think of health, I think of like, like combat or something, but I haven't had any, um, I don't know. There hasn't been any like, like, like combat. Like I haven't thought like, oh yeah, there's going to be combat in this game. Right. Unless the health is like from when you are drowning, when you run out of air underwater, maybe that's what the health is for. I'm really not sure. Yeah. What's in here? Anything cool in here? Okay, I put a park. You look very upset. Hands, it's so nice to see you today. Oh my god, today is a super duper sweet. Is what I would have said if I was somehow happy to see you. What do you want? Let's talk. I don't know why people get so mad when I point out their flaws. Like, whatever. Like, it's my fault that you're screw up. <laughs> if they don't like it, maybe they should just try screwing up less. Holy crap. Okay, very well. Uh, all right. I don't regret putting that park bench next to your uh, front door. I don't. You deserve it now. <laughs> My goodness gracious. All right, there should be some glass right here, maybe. Trash, no glass. Crap. All right. Gonna get lucky there. Maybe glass in this bin here. So the health is for drowning. So that's the only reason. It's just for drowning, yeah? We get maybe a glass from this every once in a while, maybe. There we go. We got glass from that. Cool. 
All right, so five stone slabs and uh, the lighthouse is all taken care of. We'll grab these metal bricks, metal bars. Uh, was it over here? Stone slab. Stone. Was it stone or marble? I think it was stone. Stone. Five of these. Two minutes and 30 seconds. That'll be all done. And then let's take a look at our uh, quest real quick. See what else we have. So repair the lighthouse we're doing. Uh, watering can and shallow sands. Let me take a look at the map real quick. So yeah, back at Hot Tropic, we still needed to learn. This is where the meowsing meowser cat is. We still need to learn about the water can. And then over here, Shallow Sands, which I think might have a person over here too as well. The really cool thing about this game too is if you see when you're looking at the map, uh, in the top left-hand corner of the map, you can see all the resources that are on this island. Uh, so for Hot Tropic, you can see all the resources for that island. Um, and since we haven't discovered shallow sands yet, we don't know what's there, but we can like see. So that's really a nice little feature. Also, again, if anybody hasn't seen the map uh, before, uh, there's a lot of things going on. There's like a waypoint way out here. There's some like sunken ruins over here. Don't know what the heck this is. Riggs Outpost is over there. Uh, more islands are over here. Um, these look like... All, this looks like almost like another civilization or something another town another city some sort of mushroom island is what that looks like um yeah there's a lot of cool stuff going on for sure there we are okay two minutes and 30 seconds one minute left one minute left it does kind of have like sand rock vibes in a way kind of in a way I think there's a lot of games being mixed into this one. Uh, there's a lot of different games being mixed into this one, for sure. There we go. Hello, Spork. How are you, Spork? Hello, Auntie Meow. How are you, Auntie Meow? Did I say hello to Spork earlier? I'm not even sure if I did. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Anchor. I forgot Anchor has the air tank, too. Yeah, I totally forgot about the air tank. Dun, 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 dun. I'm very excited for this. So this is a pretty big deal with the whole lighthouse thing. And this is one of the big, like, new things about the new playtest coming out is the whole tourism thing. Um, this should help us achieve having tourists come to town eventually, uh, which is something that was not in the game the last time we played either. Did I ever play Dinkum? <laughs> Not only is it one of my most played games on the channel, I have about 60 live streams with it, but I also have my own shirt in Dinkum as well. But yes, there's an entire playlist um, on it, and it's really, really fun, really cool. A lot of people here in chat actually found me through Dinkum as well. But yes, absolutely. I did play Dinkum. I did. Um, There we go. And then the glass. There we go. You're going to binge watch that? That's one of the longest uh, series I have on the channel. If not the longest. Everything done in that series is all done live on a live stream. And it is completely vanilla, no mods and all that. And it's really good fun. Probably one of my best uh, series I have. And again, longest series I have. What are they talking about? What do you think? They're just dancing. One's dancing. One's not even like, all right. Where did Sniff go? Let's go talk to Anchor. A can shirt in the game? Yeah, I have a can shirt in the game. And Dinkum at least, yeah. Avast me hardies, if it ain't cans, come to parlay with old Anchor. Out with it. What can Anchor do for you? Let's talk. Be sure to check out the blueprint bo board every now and then, and you can offer find jobs and often find jobs in more important posts there. In case you don't know, the board be conveniently located right in the middle of town. Actually, you know, let's do that. We haven't done that yet, right? I'm gonna check his mail. Um. Let's see, let's see, let's go. I guess any random one? Just checking to see if you were paying any attention. Me when I told you about the Bolton board. Well done. Oh, very well. Okay. 
Uh, now open. Renard's is the perfect one-stop shop for all your shopping needs. Need important salvage? Looking to lighten your packs? Renard, your, your, Renard has you covered. Stop by today and experience discount products and quality prices. Critter Cove is now almost rat-free, says local harbor master. Rats were a serious problem in the past, but thanks to a passing cheese barge, they have almost entirely left the area. Renard was unavailable to comment for this. Nosy news. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Renard, do you have anything to say about that? Welcome back to Renard's Retail. Home of the no money back guaranteed. Let's talk. So now that you've had a little look around, what do you think? Needs a lot of work, right? Well, I have a proposal for you. If you clean up trash and debris spread all around town, you can keep whatever you find, salvage rights and all that. Anything you don't want to keep for yourself, I'll buy for you for a fa fairish price. Remember at Renard's, we don't want to know where you got it and we don't ask. Now, do you actually have like, what kind of things do you have for sale? Let's see. Think of I hardly know them. <laughs> so you have, okay, like different kinds of things, like a treadmill, that would be actually kind of nice. Okay. You have decorations, anything like that, no? No, okay. Thank you, Bernard. Appreciate it. Let's go back to uh, Copper Bottom, see if he uh, has taken a look at the lighthouse yet. You should open up your Dinkum game. You want the cans shirt? Yeah. So what happens was as I did a merch, I did a merch thing. Um, I had a can shirt and then we put the can shirt, the physical can shirt. Cause I have the real life shirt. We have the real life shirt. And then we put the real life shirt in Dinkum. So you can get the real life shirt in real life and you can get the shirt in Dinkum, which is really fun. Mm -mm -mm. I guess he's doing his things. Um, does cans require assistance for this unit? No, I guess we're good. We'll let you do your thing. Have fun with that copper bottle. I passed the truck with a trailer full of uh, full of used tires. Don't forget to charge fee. That's hilarious. Hey, you. I need some new furniture from my place. Get some for me. Well, okay. Um... I technically do have something right here for you, I guess. I do have an old cottage bed that I can give you. This is my old bed. Can I give you that? I see. I didn't expect much out of you. And you lived up to my expectations. Oh, okay. I suppose I could figure out some place to put this. And I wouldn't want to hurt your widow feelings if I didn't accept it. Besides, I just really wanted an excuse to pawn this off on you anyways. Later, sucker. <laughs> okay. Why is Pokey so like that? Sammy, do you have anything to say about that? Hey there, Cans. You must be busy. Anyway, I can help. No, I guess not. All right. He gave me another chair. I have so many chairs in my house. <gasps> He's using the park bench. <sighs> How dare you? That's not for you. That is definitely not for you. Um, I kind of want to go to... What time is it? 2.50? Yeah, let's go to Shallow Sands. Let's head on out. My lord. He's got a, uh, Pokey's got a mouth on them, don't they? Very much so. Oh, look, there's Sniff right there. Uh, did you forget to come into the town, Sniff? This is Critter Cove, huh? The buildings have walls and everything. Very fancy. So do I sleep on the beach or is there some other plan? Maybe I just rough it until I figure out a better place to live. I know I need some sort of covering. M maybe made of cloth or something? A tent? Oh, yes, a tent would work, too. I need to get me one of these tent things. Can you help me get a tent? Uh, yeah, I can do that. I can actually probably make you one right now, possibly. I cannot, because I don't have any cloth on me. Um, all right, let me get you a tent real quick before I head out. I have cloth in my uh, house. So I'll just use the chest. Universal chest, such a big freaking thing in this game. Absolutely love it. Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Cloth. There we go. Tent. Make. Perfect. <laughs> I know. Pokey needs a hug. That's what it is. Pokey being mean, Pokey needs a hug. Even though I do want to have some Pokey tonight for dinner. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, no? All right. All right. All right. Look here, Sniff. I got you your tent. Normally, I don't mind being out in the open, but a tent was mentioned, and now I really want one. Any luck? Here you go. 
Look at this. It's a... Uh, I don't know what it is. It's a tent. Oh, yeah. I always wanted a tent to call my own. What does it do? You live in it. Right, 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 right. Uh, that sounds really nice. I was going to dig a hole and sleep in that, but this is much better. Uh, you should take this as a trade for the tent. That way, everything stays nice and balanced. Is that a lamp? We got a lamp. I'm going to find a good spot to set this up. Thank you, Cans. No problem. Shallow sands we go. Meow. Look at the water. How the water moves and everything. Seasick, man. Alright, this is shallow sands over here. We've not been to shallow sands yet. What was that in the water? Was that like a fish in the water? Was that like a what was that? Underwater garage? I beg your actual what is that thing on the screen? You see that? What is that thing? Oh wait, that's my uh Oh, I know what that was. I know exactly what that was. All right, here's shallow sands. Let's see if we can back this thing in. Welcome to shallow sands. And we were looking for what exactly here at shallow sands? We were looking for just two shallow sands. All right, let's go this way. Awesome. Did I get a five piece yesterday? Okay, look, I'll be honest with you. I did get Wendy's last night. And I did get a spicy chicken nuggets. I did get honey mustard and I did get chili. So yes, I actually did that. That was a real thing. <laughs> oh, look at you. Hello. Tipper. My mom always told me to look on the bright side, but it was really times like these that make it really hard. And I mean, really, really hard. What's wrong? Well, my ship sank, stranding me on this island and all my wor worldly possessions are at the bottom of the sea. On the bright side, I'm on a nice beach. There's some food here and I'm meeting someone new. I'm Tipper. Well, I'm Cans. Well, it's great to meet you, Cans. I just wish it could have been under better circumstances. Say, could you maybe help me out a little bit? This ship is a lost cause. But if you could help me get my stuff back, that would be really incredible. I'll help you. Oh, wow. It's so nice of you. I'll do it myself, but I'm not really a good swimmer. Uh, the ship went underwater just off the eastern coast here, and my stuff is in a treasury chest inside. I don't think it'll be too hard to find. Okay. So, right off the side, yeah? Right off over here, yeah? Yeah, all right. Let's go out and swim. Or tipper. Sounds delicious? I don't know. It was very delicious. It is super satisfying with the water and the physics and the graphics. I agree. It's very hard to do. If that's one thing in a game, it's hard to do. It's always water. Water is very hard to, to do. They do it pretty good. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Might as well take some stuff here while I'm here. Pick that up. Thank you. Anything else on his boat? This is Tipper's boat. <laughs> okay. Up we go. What is, is there stuff like... Is there... There is like fish, isn't there? Yeah, there is fish. Or something. Nice. Alright, Tipper, I got your uh, chest for you. It's impressive that you can swim without your arms. I have incredible legs. Okay, that's a game I've never really played was Raft, but a lot of people say it's a good game. Hello again, Cans. Any luck with that whole sunken chest thing yet? It's underwater off this eastern coast, if you forgot. I have something for you. There's your chest. You found my chest? Well, thank you so much. You've really turned a terrible day into only a sort of a bad day. I want you to have this thing from my chest. I won't take no for an answer. You've earned it. What is that? What is that? Brown cutoffs, shorts, yes. Now that I've got my stuff, I guess I'll think about what I'm going to do next. I'm sure something will come along. Well, you can come move to Critter Cove. Great grog. You've already helped me so much and now you're offering me a place in Critter Cove? You've got to do, you've got to be the nicest person ever. I would love to live in Critter Cove. In fact, I'm going to head to your ship right now. See you on board, Gans. Nice, cool. And uh, we have shorts. Look at those shorts. Okay. Possibly a little too short for me. But that's just me. I'm going to put on the other shorts. But it's nice that we have it nonetheless. Also, I would like to uh, kind of look around this area. See if there's anything cool. Kind of like look around here. Oh, look at this. This will be our... Uh, we'll get a beach chair blueprint. Yeah. Cool. Now we can make beach chairs. How nice. Love it. 
also we're on the look for like looking for more like glass and all that yeah like here trash not exactly glass exactly uh what is going on here with this ship hello anything in here uh no no maybe i'm missing something here or maybe it's nothing maybe it's nothing definitely nothing lantern at least there we go oh wait, unless there's something on the back there there might be something on the back here what is this what is that oh nothing <laughs> oh hello thank you copper still an anchor Okay, there's some stuff here. They're rusty anchor. There's nice stuff here. I'm gonna go one more time down there. You can give the clothes to other NPCs. Are you serious? You can give them clothes and stuff, and they'll wear it. That sounds really cool. Pick up some of these planks. There we are. <laughs> let's go over here i see another boat off to the side i remember this place a lot i'm kind of getting a little bit of like flashbacks from this there we are i am i'm getting oh there there's that freaking leaf thing yeah we got a lot of chicken now we're gonna bring back a lot of chicken too yeah ah just a plant full of drumsticks so lovely hello wow look at those things i can see like you know how there's like i don't know what it's called but like the the fear of like ocean and whatnot it could definitely come from this game maybe right probably not maybe probably right Like, the, it is kind of, you know, if you go out there and, like, you have to really kind of go into the ocean. You have to go into the ocean to kind of, like, get some, like, really valuable resources. You know, some people are kind of afraid of that kind of thing. Yeah. Chicken Alfredo? I'm sorry, someone just say Chicken Alfredo. Someone's going to get make me hungry now. Thalus, uh, thalus, thalassophobia. Is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? Yeah, that thing. That's like the fear of. Is it the fear of like ocean water or like the deep, deep depths? Like I have a friend who's like, I have a friend who likes going swimming in a pool, but will like not go swimming in, in like the lake or the ocean or anything like that. There we go turn on the light on we go look at he has his own hat too he he's a he's a cabin he's a cabin a cabin a nice cabin he's got a nice cabin have a good one sassy mom thanks for hanging out with us i i appreciate you thank you for hanging out There we go. Fear of large bodies of water. Yeah. I used to go swimming in Lake Erie. I'll never do that again. <laughs> Hello. We need to talk to Tipper. Great day. Great Davy Jones barnacles. This blasted contraption has given up the ghost. I tell you, uh, what is this? This is an air tank refilling machine. You must be taken rusty. You must take. You must be taken rusty tank. Put them in this machine and new small air tank come out. Or at least that's what's supposed to happen. But this machine be more broken than a ship full of holes. We be needing to get it working again. If you ever go into dive deep enough to get the best salvage. It looks like it'll be needing a few parts. The rubber tire and metal pipes shouldn't be too hard. But the power box is going to be tricky. Sink me. Old anchor be knowing just the spot to find one. 
there'd be under underwater garage not far from here all right i totally remember this if any nearby place nearby has one it'll be there oh dude i remember this, this is funny you'll be needing this to make it easier for you though it's me old mask and i won't be needing any more it won't it will only has the one air tank so make sure you don't be wasting or you'll be finding yourself diving the hard way oh i, I remember this now the underwater garage once you found the power box and saw the missing parts on the machine that should repair it good and for sure we've got you working again uh, find me and let me know i've got more work for you hello cassie good morning to you let's talk to tipper Critical. Looks exactly how I imagined it would. I can't wait to get started with my new life here. New beginnings, right? I'll need some time finding the perfect home. But until then, I'm going to need some place temporary to stay. I don't want to be too much of a bother, but is there any chance that I could maybe get a tent or something simple like that? Yes, we can. We just need to get cloth is all. Yeah. Shark named Anchor, give him a rusty anchor. That honestly sounds like a euphemism. It's almost 9 p.m. Oh, look at you. Sniff just hanging out here. Hello, Bernard. Back from your travel so soon. I honestly expected that to take you a little bit longer. Did you manage to bring a new person to our town? I did. Oh, well, that's very good news. Growing Critter, uh, growing Critter Cope's population is vital for success. success. Well done, Kans. I think you've earned this doing such a good job. What was it? <gasps> Item. Red Sky Flare Shirt. Sign me up. I best get back to my store with new arrivals. There's opportunity for new sales. Oh, make sure to keep an eye out for anyone else out there who might want to move here. Very well. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, you on immediately. Look at that. That looks amazing. Love it. Love it. There, there. <gasps> Wait, what? Wait. Is that my air tank? Is that my scuba? Yeah? Oh my lord. Here we go. Uh, we want to use our basic lamp now. Place that right there. Perfect. And yes, we are a collector of chairs now. We collect all the chairs. Perfect. We'll sleep with our uh, scuba mask on too, as well. Only 18 likes away from 350 likes. I appreciate you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for the support. Big ups to all of you. Okay. Copper bottom now should be done with the lighthouse, I think. Is he over there? Or is he back at the workshop? I can't tell. I think he's over there. He is over there. Okay, so copper bottom is at the lighthouse. Let's go to the lighthouse first thing in the morning. Now we're looking spiffy with our new outfit. We're looking pretty good. <laughs> hey! Ten euros from Kirksk. Love your work and the good vibes on this channel. Thumbs up. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Very much. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the kind words as well. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I try my best. We try our best here. Absolutely. So thank you very much. This unit has completed the repairs on the lighthouse. Please stand back while it removes the scaffolding. Please inform Checkmark that the lighthouse is operational. This unit does not wish to speak with Checkmark because of reasons. He is aware of his prior actions. Oh. A little bit of a drama. A little bit of drama. <laughs> oh, wow. That looks really cool. All right. All right. Let's go talk to Inspector Checkmark. 
<laughs> All right, Mr. Inspector Check Mark. It sounds like you and Copperbottom don't really get along. For what reason? I don't know, but I'm on Copperbottom's uh, side here. Hello. Hey, you're back. And it looks like you've gotten that lighthouse working again. Now people will know Critter Cove is open for business. You'll not get a lot of people at first, but with time, effort, and a bit, a bit of money, I'm sure you can turn this into a prime destination. I'm just finishing up here, and we'll always have my stand open in just a few moments. Uh, while I'm doing that, you should go talk to Renard again and let him know that everything coming along according to plan. All right. Let's go talk to Renard. Uh, he just closed his shop right in front of me. Uh, Renard, there you are. Would you look at that bright shining light soon critter cove will be overrun with tourists just clamoring to spend their coin on a wall we have to offer or what the hell did i just say on a coin on all we have to offer not a wall all thanks to you of course but we can't rest on laurels and now we must offer our guests food entertainment shopping things to get them to spend their lovely lovely coin fixing up all the damaged shops creating items like that tourists like uh, around town these are things tourists will pay for I think the first thing we will want to focus on is getting the old cafe fixed up. Hungry tourists don't spend their coin after all. Or do. <laughs> Copperbottom will be able to fix it up, but is going to need instructions. Talk to, talk to Inspector Checkmark and see if he has any plans for sale. I know those tourism board people sell stuff like that. Alright, so they want us to get a cafe in. And I think the cafe goes right there, if I remember correctly. All right, let me purchase this. How much is it going to cost? Probably a lot. How may I help you today? What do you have for sale? Oh, my Lord. Look at this. Um, tourist upgrade. Tourist upgrade. Tourist upgrade. Tourist upgrade. Tourist upgrade. So, not in the demo. Not in the demo. Not in the demo. Not in the demo. Cafe blueprint. Clothing shop. Not in the demo. Furniture shop. Just to kind of get an idea of what this game has. Furniture shop. Bait shop gym shop or gym place a bakery place a clinic a theater a salon and a tavern all these different places that you can build within your town and everything right very cool how much is the cafe 200 no problem got it all right so let's go back and talk to renard about this yes Ken, I, I see you managed to buy the blueprint for the for the cafe from inspector checkmark well done just go give that copper bottom so he can get started. I'm sure he'll let you know what else he needs uh, from there. Oh, you also need to ask someone else to run the cafe once it's all fixed up. Continue to fix up the rest of these damaged shops. Maybe put down a beach chair or two. Uh, you'll just want to keep adding to the town to keep the tourists happy. The more tourists we get, the more stuff Critterco will need to keep them amused and spending. All right. Copper bottom, are you back at the workshop, my friend? Hello, Angel. How are you, Angel? Good to see you. Hope you're well, yeah. Hello, meat friend, Cans. Do you require this unit's assistance? Give him the cafe blueprint. This unit has observed that meat persons do love to cram their face holes with biomatter. This unit will start gathering data on the cafe right away. Once this unit has completed gathering the data on the structure, please speak to it again to get a full report. Very well surveying the cafe follow the map to find the watery can still pictured so we still need to do that we also need to go into the garage the underwater garage too pretty sure and we also need to make a tent for tipper yeah undersea and surveying that that looks like the crusty crab <laughs> maybe i'm wrong i don't know um now thinking about it that corner store is not where the cafe goes by the way um oh yeah i haven't really looked at this but you can actually see um like relationships and stuff it's kind of interesting because uh, you have like anchor who has like loves and they have like likes and hates and everybody has like a favorite color i don't know what it means by they have a favorite color maybe if you were to give them an item that has that color or an item or a clothing item i'm not sure but everybody has like a favorite color for some reason i don't know what that's all about so Let's go ahead and um, do ourselves a little bit here and uh, get, give ourselves a uh, underwater garage tour visit. I'll come back for Tipper, get Tipper a tent once I have more cloth. I just don't have any cloth at the moment. 
And the underwater garage should be right over here. Hello, Raquel. How are you? Is it Raquel or is it Rachel? Raquel or Rachel? Oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. Okay, right here. Dive in. Okay, no garage here. <laughs> Back up I go. Maybe a little bit this way. Might be deeper. Really deep. Okay, there's like a cliff right here. Might not be that deep. Holy crap, this is really deep. I don't think it's that deep. I could be wrong though. We have this like scuba thing now. And you can even see also... You have like the scuba air tank meter, but you also have coldness as you can see. So the health is going down because it must be really, really cold down there. So that's something we got to look out for. Now, one thing I noticed is I can't see my boat. Oh, there it is. There's the boat. I think I need to back up a bit for the, uh, for the tub. So we might need to get like a new, or we might need to get something. If we ever want to go deeper dive, dive deeper. We need something to protect us from cold too. That's pretty interesting. All right, let's go back this way. I think we're just right out of it. We're out of the scope of it, aren't we? We are. We're like in the scope now. Underwater garage. Might be right here. Yep. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> gotcha. A car right there. There we go. Cool. So we found it. Now we just need to get like the stuff out of it. There we go. Broken motor. Okay. This is just one of the garages. I don't think this has exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for, I think, a battery, right? So there's the other garages here. Yeah. What the heck is that? What is that? A jello loon? What the heck is a jello loon? Salted nuts? I know what that is. Car seat? There we go. Oh, there it is. That's what we're looking for right there. Got it. Okay. Now we got that all taken care of. Now we can go back to anchor and all that. We'll pick up the rest of this stuff too. There's another garage. Is that the same one? That was the same one. Okay, that's uh, okay. There's two. Is there any more than two? I don't think so. I kind of want the jelly loon. Jelly loon? Yeah, I wanted more of that. Jelly loon. I wonder if we can like, like it's like a balloon but jelly. I wonder if we can cook it. There's another one right there. Yeah, treadmill. That's pretty useful. There we go. Yeah, like a wetsuit for like the cold water. Yeah. Get another one of that. All right. And then up we go. Can we jump on this stuff? <gasps> you can. Nice. Cool. Uh, 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 uh. So as you discover these shipwrecks, I guess they show up on the map and they stay showed up on the map. Interesting. What time is it? 1040? I guess we can actually go to... Go see if we can get a watering can. Yeah, let's go see if we can get that watering can thing taken care of. Kind of do it all in one. Hello, Tammy. How are you, Tammy? What's going on? Hello, Daniel. How you doing, Daniel? This is a little bit tricky, huh? 
I think we might need to claim that rock right there. Because I think we're looking for, like, writing or something. I might be looking, like, for some sort of writing. Yeah. I'm going to try to see if I can climb this. Scale it. Maybe. I might be wrong, though. Might be wrong. No, I'm definitely wrong. This is definitely... No, no, no. This can't be it. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. <laughs> can you actually get to the top here? Maybe. Oh my gosh, you can. Okay, I don't think that's where the watering can is, though. Okay, so it's somewhere in this area. Let's look around. Look around, look around, look around. I am looking for what I assume is the... It could be somewhere in here. I am looking for what I assume is some sort of writing on the wall that tells me about a watering can. A blueprint, rather. Let's see, is this in the zone here? It's out of the zone. Okay. We'll go up. Mm -mm -mm. It's in the zone. Let's go up. Let's scale up. What the heck? A giant ball of yarn for Meowzy. Perfect. That's hilarious. Well, I guess there's all those like rock uh, mouses and everything everywhere too, huh? That's funny. Okay. Let's try here. I look all around, right? Oh, what is this again? Oh, this is the cocoa nuts. Yeah, cocoa nuts. Can you actually get cocoa nuts? Coconuts? <laughs> no, you can't get coconuts. Another loom? Do these just respawn here? I wonder what the looms do. They might just respawn here. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. It's a giant yarn, yeah. Hello, Chris. How's it going? How's it going, Chris? Is this like the heart of it right here? This is like the heart of it right here, isn't it? it I wonder if it has to do with anything over here or if it has to do with anything. Let's see. Like that. Maybe you have to like chop something, pick something up. Rather. Destroy something. Find something in the water. I might look at the quest in a sec. See. Oh, what is this? It's like part of the building. It fell, huh? Yeah. This game looks cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see. So watering can. Suggested that I need to learn. Uh, Hot Tropic, that I should be able to learn what I need to know over there. She also said that the information is painted on a rock. Yeah, okay. So I am looking for... Uh, that and she thinks it's on a mountaintop. It might be difficult to get. Okay. Yeah mountaintop. That's what I thought I was looking for definitely drawings So it's probably somewhere up here. Yeah There it is found it I was like all around it <laughs> That's funny All right, so we got the watering can taken care of There we go. Okay, go forward. Sorry I haven't been around much lately. Had a lot on my plate. Don't be sorry. Never be sorry. Never be sorry. Life is, uh, life can get, uh, hectic. Absolutely. Don't be sorry. Okay, we'll head on back. I don't know what these like. There's like one, two, three, four, five. I don't know what they do. Are they like auto cruise? Oh, they're like auto cruise. Oh, okay, cool. I see. All right, very well. 
some sort of like you can use the numpad instead of like having to use WASD and all that. Nice. All right. We still need to get fabric. Uh, we also need to talk to Pokey about that too. About, um, can we make fabric? I wonder. We need to talk to Anchor as well. My lord, there's so much to do. We need to craft a watering can. That's what we need to do. All right, all right. Craft a watering can. We craft it here. Yes. Uh, metal pipe and metal plate. So a couple of that. One and two. We'll go one. And a metal plate. Two. There we go. We'll get that going. And then let's see. Let's see. Um, that's being surveyed. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to do this over here. Maybe we can kind of throw the thing on that. Yeah. Replace metal pipe. Replace power box. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that's all taken care of. That's taken care of. And then metal piping for that. It actually doesn't show like, uh, like the ingredients for it, does it? Um, it's all the power box along with the rest of the missing parts. Okay. So we just need, I guess, a metal pipe in general, just any metal pipe, maybe. Let's see how this is going. Grab these. Thank you. Now, how many metal pipes do I have now? I don't even know. Still need it for the watering can. Metal pipe, water and can. We still have two. Okay. Two, and then that's three. Okay. We make two more of these. Two. There we go. Watering can coming up. Perfect. Cool. All right. Watering can is all done. All done. So we'll talk to Pokey and then metal pipes replace. Not entirely sure. Maybe we need like X amount of metal pipes potentially. Pokey, I need to talk to you. We need to talk about this watering can. Yeah. Hello. Would you look at that? You can follow directions. I guess I lost my bet with Sammy. Now that you've got your hands on a watering can, you're going to need to make a small garden planter. You're going to need those to grow the plants. You're going to have to dismantle broken ones on the island to learn how to make one. Rip enough of them apart and I'm sure you can figure it out. When you got it, when you got one finished, I'll come and make sure you made it right. Now, I do wonder, do I have one available already? I don't think I do, do I? Filter tap? No, I don't think I do. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Should I take this off? There we go. We'll take it off. I don't know what the car seat's going to be used for. Mm -mm -mm. These fences we could also take down too and learn those. I think we can go back to Shadow Sands or Shady Sands over there. And they have quite a bit of like garden plant things over there, I think. We need to get fabric still though. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, what is this? Oh, more anchors? Nice. <laughs> the car seat will probably be for another boat. Oh, that would be really cool. That would be really, really cool. If that's the case. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to hit. I see a possible planter box over here. What is this? The trunk. Okay. What is this? Planter box? No, just a regular wood. All right. We haven't gone uh, much exploring up here in the top of the um, the village. Let's see what's going on up here. Mm -mm -mm. The Texas Roadhouse. Yo, the freaking rolls at the Texas Roadhouse. Ah, uh, here we go. Square wood planter. Two out of ten. If we can find those. That would be golden. There we go. There's another one. Get some meat drumsticks while we're here too. Dun, 
You're enjoying the stream while making jerky? What the heck? That's a freaking flex if I've ever heard one. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. You're lucky. Some you make some homemade jerky. Now I'm interested. I don't think I actually went up here. We did not go up here yet, so let's go up here. There we go. How do you grow those drumsticks plants IRL? I know, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I was like, I need one of those in my uh uh in my yard. I want some KFC on the go. Whoa, what's down there? What the heck's going on down here? Whoa, cave. I'm interested. Pick up a cone. Pick up a torch. What the heck? Did I... Hello. Did I just pick up a torch? I did pick up a torch, didn't I? Um. Can I place this down here? Place that up here. I did pick up a tor torch. Let's see. Let's go through here. I don't remember this at all. I don't know what this is. Anything underneath? Anything going on down here? It does not look like it. Okay. Alright. I am interested though. Oh wait! What's over there? What's over there? What's over there? What's over there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Where does this go to? Interesting. What the heck? Okay. Right? Okay. Huh. Yeah. What's over here? Alright. Pretty cool. Mm -mm. Oh, I see it went to there. All right. All right. What about the hip hop and you don't stop? Yeah. What about that, baby? You ever think of that? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There you go. Where does this take us? It takes us somewhere. <laughs> Maybe nowhere. What's over here? Oh man, this game is like full of exploring, isn't it? Like wood, like random stuff. Oh, there's a treasure chest, dude. I see the treasure chest. Oh no. I see the treasure chest. I'm going for it. That could be our next shirt for all I know, or it could be a pair of pants. I don't know. What is in here? What is this? Okay. All right. All right. We got to figure this out. Oh my Lord. Excuse me. What is this? It is my next shirt. Nice. Cool. Dun, dun, dun. That's a nice little thing to find, I guess, right on the back side of the island. I like it. We'll take a chop at this. At, there, at first, I thought it was like a house over here. I thought this like bridge was going up to a house. That was not the case. Pants to match the shirt. That's true. That's so true. Wait, did you make, you said you make the jerky in the air fryer? I have an air fryer. 
Have a good one, Natasha. Thanks for hanging out with us. Do take care. There we go. We do that. Nope. This is a planter box too. What is this? Yep, garden planter. There we go. Eight out of twelve. Four out of ten. Bum, 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 bum. Nacho flavored panko chicken. Excuse me. Is nacho a flavor? This is news to me. <laughs> nacho flavored? Yeah, you can adjust the uh, size of the character. Yeah. He's done surveying. So greetings, Cans. This unit uh, completed compiling the data on the damaged cafe. The structures have minor damage. It requires minimal resources to initiate repairs. A collection box with a list of required materials has been placed near the cafe. Please assist in the collection of the required resources. Without your assistance, the unit calculates the odds of task completion to be less than 1%, or as Renard likes to say, a bleep chance in bleep. When does this game come out? Sometime in quarter two. Quarter two. Uh, metal cooking station pirate sign. <gasps> Where's the pirate sign at? Where's the pirate sign at? Bump, bump. I feel like the pirate sign is somewhere here, but maybe not. Maybe it's at a, like on an island somewhere. Okay, let's go to bed. There we are. Perfect. Go to sleep. Nice. <laughs> Shouldn't that game be done for copyright because of the robot guy? Uh, sh uh, what? <laughs> what the bleep did he just say? I should use my bleep during that. I'm so glad that they actually have the list right here. Instead of going back to the donation box, they have it all sit right here. That's really good. Where's the pirate? We have to find the pirate sign, dude. Um... We need to get a tent. We need more of that. Okay, we got to go and um, see if we can get some fabric. Oh, here's a planter box. This is what we're looking for. Oh, yeah, by the way, I guess we can use buy stuff from what's his face from Renard too, huh? That's right. What is this a bench? This is also a bench. Yeah, we'll grab that too. Oh, there's another planter box. Thank you. 8 out of 15? Yeah, 8 out of 15. And as far as this goes, uh, probably like X amount of metal pipes we need for that. We might make some more metal pipes. Uh, metal pipe. Okay, let's, yeah, let's do a little bit of inventory sorting. Uh, let's do home trunk. We'll put all the cosmetics in there. I don't know what to do with this old loom. I'm kind of interested to know what we can do with the old loom. Uh, let's place the... You know what? We'll place the car seat in there just because it could be used for a um, a boat later on. We'll put the shirt in there. There's a bunch of food we have on us. Salt and nuts. Blueprints needed apparently for that. Sugar. Um, Let's go over one all this stuff in there we don't need every single piece of item on us there we go actually take the food out though keep the food out put the treadmill in there put all that in there put that in there that in there that in there actually take again take the food out we'll start cooking a bunch of stuff too okay that's good what is this fibers add some fuel i wonder if i can use fiber as like fuel, maybe. Give me the sticks back though. Do I have the sticks? Yeah, there they are. Nice. 
looks like robot from a robot thing you used to watch. Are you talking about the robot movie? Um, did we do blush berries? I can't remember. I don't think it matters. I think it's still a jam. We'd like to experiment with Jello Loon. Jello Loon. Let's see what that makes. It gave us salt. Oh, come on. That's not what I wanted from the Jello Balloon. Jello Loon. All right. Fair, 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 fair. Um, what if I experiment with salt? What the heck happens if I do that? Let's see. Does that do anything? It made slop. Oh, great. Slop. Love that. <laughs> okay. Let's put some grilled meat on there. We have so much meat. There we go. All 32. We'll cook all that up and we'll have a lot of food already with us. Yeah. Jellaloon sounds like a Pokemon. It's jelly and a balloon mixed together. Honestly, it could probably pass as a uh, Pokemon. 32 meat. That's so much. What about... Um, have I experimented with the dragon fruit yet? I don't think I have. Let's experiment with that. Spice. Okay, we've done that one. Okay, spice. Nice spice and everything in between. Uh, let's see. Let's go. I mean, really, do we need to have the slop on us now? Maybe. Mm. Oh, yeah, we need to get the uh, fabric. Do I make fabric from here or probably from the fabricator? Maybe. Let's see. Yes, cloth, fiber. Okay, good. We'll get this tent going. And once we get our cloth in, we'll go ahead and give the tent to... What's his name? What's their name? Um, Tipper. That's right, Tipper. Give it a Tipper. And then we're going to need a bunch of metal plates. Is that right? For that one for the cafe? Yeah, we're going to need five of those. So let's get that going while we're waiting. Going to need metal bars. Okay, so we need quite a bit of metal bars. Let's go... Let's do a full 20 metal bars. That will take seven minutes. We're not going to hang around for that, though. There we go. Okay. Tent. Craft that. And we'll go to Tipper. 32 meat. Well, you are a meat person. I, what do they call us? Meat? They do meta person, right? I said meta person. Meat person. I can't believe I called it meta person for so long. I even did that the first time I played too. Meta person. Only because meat person doesn't sound like... I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Cans. It's nice to see you again. Hey, you haven't had a chance to find me a tent, have you yet? Well, I have something here for you. There you are. This looks like a great tent. Thank you for helping me out. You're the best, Cans. You've helped me so much. I really feel like you deserve a reward. Uh, I've just got the thing. Here is a good reward. <gasps> it's a wardrobe. A basic wardrobe. I'm going to find a good spot to set up, uh, set this thing up and get settled in. I'm actually really excited to start my new life here. Oh, very good. That's fun. Now, I wonder if any of the... Like, I wonder if Sniff is, like, looking around potentially for, like, a new house. Kind of, like, moseying about, yeah? Possibly. I'm almost tempted to sell a bunch of things to Renard. Uh, I don't want to talk to you, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Hello, Anchor. How are you? I've asked me hardies if it ain't cans, come to parlay with an old anchor. Yeah. Uh, Captain Cans, how go repairs on the refill station? I mean, they're going all right, but I think I'm going to need more metal pipes. There isn't like a, a set number on metal pipes, but I guess we'll do that. We'll, we'll try to make a bunch of metal pipes and see if we can be uh, get better with that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll just get more metal pipes. More metal pipes. Let's see, let's see. Metal pipes. Okay, let's get that in. Excuse me. I guess a couple more. What do we have? We can make three. We'll do three. A wooden frame. I wonder... No. We'll do three of those. 
Oh, actually. Oh, no, we don't need brick right now. We should have plenty of brick. Uh, let's see. Let's go to cooking station, which looks like an upgraded cooking station. That's what that looks like. So let's see. Don't do that. Cooking station, cooking station right there. Okay. Oh, furniture work table, by the way. That's pretty cool. Um, what does the filter do? Interesting. Cooking station. So we have the cook pot and we need the campfire. Okay, let's do that. Actually, we need to make a new one. Let's make a new one. Uh, we need more stone. Oh my god. We have stone, don't we? We should have stone. Do we really not have stone? We have stone. Uh, how do we shift, shift click? Yes, there we go. Okay, now we will make the campfire. We'll make the cooking station, all the above. Yes. Um, cooking station. There we go. Hold on, copper bottom. Don't be looking at my copper bottom, young man. Okay, so we have that taken care of. So cooking station is done, metal plates will be done, and then we need to find the pirate sign. I should be able to use a crafting station to make most of the things. Won't be good without a good sign to let everyone know it's here. I should check out the shipwrecks on the shore of Shallow Sands for the pirate sign. Okay, good. All right, we can go back to Shallow Sands here in a sec. Let me look at the metal pipes and then we'll take a trip back to Shallow Sands. There is a calendar in this game. It does say Saturday on the 6th, but I don't know if we've actually seen visually the calendar. Like if they showed us a calendar or anything like that. I don't think so. That's why it makes me feel like there's not any like seasons in this game potentially. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, yeah, I should make a cooking station for myself too. You're right about that. There we go. All right, so we've done that and we can make air tanks now. So let's make some air tanks, I guess. Place those in there. They'll do their thing. We'll talk to Anchor. Um, I'm going to need to make another cooking pot, right? Cook pot, which is going to need wire and metal plates to do that too. We'll grab some of this. It's still going. How much time do we have? Two minutes on that. All right. Let's go talk to Anchor. Tell him that it's all done. It's all taken care of. Your air tanks are ready to go. Blow me sails down. You got it working. I knew you'd be able to figure it out. Now I'd like you like I'd like ye to make a particular use of it. And if you've got the time for an old shark's errands, of course. I I knew you were one of to be counted on. I be needing you recover a bit of cargo that I lost a while ago. I'll mark down the location on your map so you should be or ye should have no troubles finding it. You'd be looking for cargo wrapped in blue paper located inside a blue cargo container. Okay, blue, blue, blue. I'm guessing it'd be down deep, so you might need a refill on your air tanks. Here, this is be an old empty tank that I had laying about. Use the station to fill it up before you go. Okay. By the way, thank you. Trey, Tracy, Trace. Oh my God. I'm going to F that one up. Tracy for following on Twitch. Hello to you. It's rather important to me that it gets here safe and sealed. No peeking you here. All right. Very well. Bum, bum, bum. What's this game about? Um, that's a hard question. <laughs> Only because it's a hard question just because it's a, uh, uh Oh, <gasps> Okay, never mind. We're good. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. I thought for a second it took my air tanks. It's a hard question because there's it's a, there's a lot of games going on here, but essentially it's a crafting building, uh, post-apocalyptic, um, cozy game that your main objective is there's this island called Critter Cove. You're here. You build up the town. You have tourism come. There is a bunch of islands out and about that you search, scavenge resources, but your main goal is to build the town back up to its uh once glory days yeah all right now we gotta mark find this mark cargo 
Uh, one right there. Okay, let's go get this cargo. For old Yanker. Anchor, Yanker? Let me yank your anchor. Anchor. No, the game's not copywriting. It's not copywriting. It, it's, 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 it's not copywriting. There's no copyright here. There we go. Collect. Is this the right thing? There we go. Salt. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we are. There we go. It's just a bunch of stuff. A bunch of flour, sugar, salt. All right. Fair enough. Um, where are we? There we are. Between the two islands. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, the game is about what you make it. Animal Crossing meets Porsche meets... Sand rock. There's a lot of games going on here for sure. For sure. There we are. Grab some more stuff. This is fun that you can actually find collected uh, stuff here. There we go. What else we are right there almost at the shipwreck i guess it's like right in front of us yeah right here hello life with a disability how are you what's going on good to see you welcome back there we go cool oh there's a chest okay baby Mechanical parts into a fish tie shirt that looks freaking fabulous. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't have my scuba mask on. What the heck? Holy crap! Where am I? Are we okay? Holy hell! Where is my boat? Time out. I do need my scuba gear. Absolutely. Where's my boat? There it is. Okay. All right. We're okay. We're fine. Kind of. Can I eat while I'm in the water? I wonder. That's my water can. I can eat while I'm in the water. Okay. This is great news. I know. I nearly drowned. What the hell? Mm-mm. Bum, 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 bum. I know it didn't have like a warning flash or anything. I, I mean, it did have it probably like what was flashing was probably like my health bar, but I wasn't like paying attention to the health bar. But yeah, there's probably like some needs maybe like a, a little like sound or something that would be kind of nice to have. Okay, I really want to put on that shirt now. He said a blue uh, shipping container too. I see blue. I see blue down there. I'll go down there here in a sec. I see blue. Don't nearly kill yourself now. Okay, the game is not copywriting. We're not we're not we're not worried about copywriting. There's no copyrights. That's not how copyright works. No more discussion on the copyrights. <laughs> There's no copyright. No more, no more, no more discussion on copywriting. <laughs> Referencing media is a good point. Parody is a good point. I mean, there's... Oh, God. There's such thing as parodies, right? What just happened? What in the world just happened? How did I end up way over here? I'm looking for a blue shipping container, though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Which one of them are blue? I, they look all blue. I'll be honest with you. I guess that one right there, right? That one right there. This is this looks the bluest. 
or it did look the bluest apparently okay right i maybe maybe we're not allowed to do that anymore because we're done for there we go all right donezo we'll go to zero we'll go to the pirate ship real quick Maybe you can't go deep when your health is low. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you can't go like down a certain depth when your health is low. There's a pirate sign right there though. Hello. I don't think you die in this game. No, you don't think you die in this game. I technically, I don't think you do. There we go. Wooden helm up the air tanks awesome let's put on this new shirt that we got though because it looks fabulous it's camouflage camouflage with a tie camouflage with a tie on it i'll take it let's see here we got that taken care of so we can repair the cafe now and then i guess i don't know is there actually i guess there isn't any food to regain the health i'll come back over here i'll what i'll do is i'll what i can do is i can take like a short nap or i guess it's almost late enough to take a full rest but we'll come back over here but at least we got the pirate sign that's what matters yeah i guess you just return to the surface of the water yeah. Okay, listen, listen. I'm going to say this one more time. We're going to stop talking about copywriting. Next time somebody talks about copywriting, we're gonna we're gonna time you out. All right, we're done talking about it. Enough. Cut it out. No more. All right. Understand. No more of that. We're not talking about copyright issues here. All right. Let's go and uh, deliver this stuff. Actually, grab the plates, then deliver it. There we go. Five of them. And then let's do wait 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 we can't do that okay we did the sign oh we're about to do the sign we don't have it quite yet wait a sec i thought i built the um i thought i built the uh, cooking station did i not build the cooking station i'm pretty sure i did no i did okay so we have that and then just the five metal plates all right fine let's turn in early so we can get our health back at least how about copy left gosh <laughs> all right we'll sleep and see because i'm not sure how the health works i'm assuming if you rest actually you know what let me do short nap if i do a short nap will the health regain it does it regains a little bit all right wonderful um let's go to sleep for a long night no there we go so i don't know i don't know if there's certain foods that you can have that can make your health go up but at least sleeping does it Okay. Now we'll see if the health issue is what kept us from going deeper into that specific, like, crate. Unless it's the crate that is weird, but who knows. That looked like a blue crate to me, though. All right, let's go repair this uh, cafe first. Look, I did not put any mayo in the chili last night. I do put sour cream in the chili, though. It's very, 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 very true on that. That I do mayo no you want me to dress up as a pirate for the next stream what if i what if i'm playing like a game that's like out of like what if i play a game that's like far off to the left field and i'm like playing taxi life simulator and i show up in a pirate outfit <laughs> 
I came to the wrong spot. This is not that cafe. That was a lighthouse. My bad. There's the cafe. Okay. That's good. That's good. And that's good. Perfect. Do you cook your chili meat in butter? I don't cook the chili. Danielle cooks the chili. I don't know what she does. I have no idea what she does. She has this like recipe that she has from like her family and whatnot, and she does it. But who are you? Wait, do we have tourists here? I beg your pardon, Arlo? I'm so hungry, I would never have come if I had known this place has nothing to eat. Uh, um, okay. Tucker? To make this a proper tourist destination, there needs to be more shops. Tourists like myself like love to spend money on vacation. Oh my lord. So we just have a bunch of complaining people here, don't we? Hello, Serendipity. How are you? A taxi pirate. Thank you, Gavin. <laughs> all, I wanted, all I wanted to do was a bit of shopping, but no, oh no. Critter Cove doesn't have enough places for me to do that. My vacation is ruined. Look at all these people, man. It's a lion. What kind of place invites people to visit and then doesn't have anywhere for them to get a bit a bite to eat a place that is going to get one star that's for sure truly <laughs> who are you nick where all the shops i've got money to burn and nothing to spend it on silver okay interesting right whoops hello behemoth how are you You've noticed that there was no option for no on the poll. Well, yeah, that's a obvious right there. Obviously, there's no option for a no. You don't have a choice. <laughs> All right. Well, I, we'll, we'll, we'll let that go. I'm gonna go back to the to the to the crate though. I want to see if I can get into the blue uh, shipping crate or the blue shipping crate, so to speak. But yeah. Mm -mm 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 Cookies are a Catherine food. Hello. It says, I, I've been watching your Wildflowers playthrough and noticed you were live. Oh, very good. This game looks fun. Yeah, this game is fun. Definitely, if you if it looks fun, definitely if you haven't, check out the beginning when we're done today. It's a really cool game. And I'm glad you're going through the Wildflowers playlist because that's uh, that game is really good. I really had a good time with that game. Have they added stuff since the last playtest? Yes. Today is the new playtest. Um, and kind of like what those people were, we were just kind of talking with those all those critters. It's the tourism. They've added tourism. They've added, I think, new boats. And they've added, I think, new islands and stuff. I think. I'm pretty sure. Should I, I should have filled my tank back up. You're right. I should have. Now look at me. All the way out here. Disgusted with myself. How long do I think the playlist playtest will last? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long the last one lasted, uh, but this probably will be the last playtest before release. Yeah, obviously I, this will be uh, different. Come on now. Okay, make sure we have our scuba dive on. Okay, we got our scuba on. Let's get it. Okay, which one was it? It was this one right here. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see. The end of April is when it will... Okay, that was interesting. So, yeah, we made it. There's a large crate, too. So, end of April, will the playtest be there? Okay, that's kind of cool. That's all month, then. That's really neat. There's the package. Okay, so that's the marked cargo. We got it. We got the mark cargo. Now we can go back to anchor for it. So it must have been a health issue then. Maybe how deep you go, depending on how low your health is. I do kind of see, if you kind of look, my health is actually low. Not fully... I mean, it might be hard to see on, on stream, but my health isn't actually to the filled to the top. All right, let's head back. All right. On we go.
would be nice for an option to tickle the like button gently yeah just wait until hype comes around in case anybody knows about this youtube feature that youtube is going to be um potentially bringing to the platform i saw it today on twitter people talking about it Oy. not it's a terrible terrible feature oh wow, look at that look at that look at it. the cruise ship is here well i mean that's where all the people came from but it's really cool to see that heck yeah dude nice all right let's take this thing off there we go i don't know if that waste is oxygen when i'm running around or anything or if it's just when i'm in the water we go craft more air tanks perfect look at that that's oh my gosh look at that <laughs> that looks ridiculous <laughs> like somebody cut off the front of a cruise ship <laughs> that's funny can i go inside that's hilarious <laughs> Uh, Anchor, I got your uh, thing for you, buddy. Oi! Have you retrieved the chest I asked for? I have something for you. Hi. That'd be just the cargo I asked for. You've got my gratitude, Captain, and heartily, heartily, heartily at that. Thank you. Um, that'd be just the cargo I asked for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's in it, though? Uh, well, it's not but a uh, mm, saltwater taffy, my favorite kind. A hard to come by these days. Saltwater taffy is really good. But you needed to concern yourself with the snacking habits of an old anchor. Here, your well-deserved booty for a job well done. What's the feature? Um, the feature that they're going to be potentially doing is they're going to be doing hype and hype is going to be essentially something as a leaderboard for viewers and then hype is like spending money on hyping a video which means spending money for the video to have a higher algorithm push so if people spend money on a video they can hype it up and it will reach out to more and more people it's absolutely dumb i don't like it i hate it and what will happen is every time you hit the like button, a prompt of a micro trans transaction will come up saying, would you like to purchase hype points? So every time you hit the like button, it'll be like, would you like to purchase, make a micro transaction to purchase hype points? It's terrible. It's so bad. It's so bad. Kind of not like a hype train hype trains a little bit different, but Twitch did it back in the day and they and it failed and they got rid of it, but I forgot what it was called Creators would get 70% of hype point money. They wouldn't even get the full hundred hundred bits for it The unit has completed repairs on the biomatter distribution center this facility lacks automated serving functions. This unit recommends cans find a meta person proficient in the creation and serving of edible biomatter to operate the facility. This unit is authorized to supply cans with a reward for assistance in the completion of the biomatter ingestion facility. Yeah. So in other words, a way to discourage people from hitting the like button. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This unit shall now remove the scaffolding and complete the final construction steps. Thank you and have a nice day. Okay, very well. Basically, what it would do, it would make it harder for smaller creators because if, if you have a bigger creators, they're going to have an audience that's going to spend the money to hype a video up. And then that's going to really funnel into like the algorithm, like being showed off more compared to smaller creators or even like companies, big companies that have a lot of money to spend on to hype up a video right stuff like that it hurts smaller uh smaller creators more than anything there's a donation box here can i put something in there if it's how it i mean i don't know and there'd be like a leaderboard showing like what viewer has done the most hype points and all that and whatnot it's really strange it's really strange and i hope they don't go through with it 
hopefully they get a lot of backlash and they're like oh yeah maybe we shouldn't do that we need to get more garden planters though uh we need to go to shallow sands because i believe there's quite a bit over there i think no maybe we don't maybe we don't actually not thinking about it is there a lot over here not over here but at hot tropic there might be yeah there might be a lot over here at hot tropic TikTok makes you pay boost your videos to show it more people on the for you page. Well, YouTube has that feature too. It's called it's like advertising. It's through Google and whatnot. You can technically do that on on uh, on YouTube, but yeah their leaderboards are a bit similar to bit and gift sub boards on twitch um not really twitch used to do the same exact uh thing back in the day and i forgot what twitch called it um but the problem with twitch is that it was twitch is a terrible platform to have discoverability on and so people's streams that got hyped up they called it something else uh it they didn't get discovered more just because just how the platform is cre uh, just how it's created you don't get discovered very well on twitch so it was kind of pointless so they got rid of the program but now youtube looks like they're gonna jump on the program which is very interesting indeed oh these aren't what i was thinking i thought these were like actual plant boxes all right well actually no we could do this yeah we can do this this will still work There we go. Hooray! Small garden planter. Perfect. Twitch bits is a Twitch currency. That's a Twitch currency. That's something different. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now we can place down a wood planter or a planter box finally. Hooray! safe in this weather yeah oh it is raining right now isn't it oh crap i didn't know it was raining i didn't realize it was raining huh now i want to know what's outside you missed the chocolate factory stream you did it did lulu don't worry it wasn't too long but um it was good fun if you click on that video try not to laugh in the first 30 seconds first 30 seconds of the chocolate factory simulator try not to laugh i challenge you <laughs> hey hazel dream think of a cheering with a hundred bits now the thing about bits is that a hundred percent of that goes to the creator so thank you for that. I appreciate that, Hazel Dream. I think that's like the only kind of like platform currency that 100% of it goes to the creator. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate you. Uh, we need a small crate, apparently. We can make a small crate, can't we? I thought we can make a small crate. Where do we make a small crate from? Here? No. Here? No. Here? It's a wood frame, not a small crate. Here? No. I thought we unlocked the small crate. There. Well, no. We need something else to go with that. Oh, furniture. That's probably what it is. Maybe furniture. Yeah. We need a saw blade. I need a metal plate for that. <laughs> okay. Craft that. Thank you. And thank you, Gavin, for following on Twitch. Hello. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hello, Aris. How are you? And thank you again, Hazel. Dream for the bits. Here's a little more for you and your baby Bella for baby Bella. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Big ups to you. One of my goals in 2024 is to get Twitch partner this year. Hopefully, I will be able to. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm very close. I have all the requirements except for one require requirement. I'm missing one requirement. That's it. Mm -mm. It, it might happen this year. It might. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, is it done? 25. 25, we'll make the furniture uh, table thing, and I think that's where we're gonna get the, um, the, uh, the, uh, crate. That's it, yeah. One bit is one penny, that's correct. That's correct. Twitch partner requirement is I need to have 75 average concurrent viewers. And currently I have 40. I think 40, yeah. So I'm off by like 35. I didn't realize I had a freaking couch on me, dude. That's pretty cool. This is right here. In El Pantera, Pantera, Pantera. Hello. Thank you for following on Twitch too. How you doing? Thank you. Good to see you. Oh, there we go. Small crate. Wood planks. I think I can grab some. Oh, wait, do we really run out of wood planks? Why do people still use Twitch? All you see is naked women. Well, not really. I mean, it depends on what you're looking at. Because if you are looking at that kind of stuff, if you're looking at like the bikini hot tub streams, then your algorithm is going to be just that. If you don't look at that, your algorithm is not like that. <laughs> so it depends on what you're watching. But it's all algorithm based is Twitch. If that's all that's showing up, then that's all the streams that you're clicking on. There we go. Um, wood, wood, wood. We'll get 10. 10 should do enough. Yeah. Era Enchanted, thank you for following on Twitch too. Hello. Appreciate that. Mm -mm. Hey Nick, how you doing? This game seems very much like my time series, especially Sandrock. It's kind of like that. It's a middle. It's a it's a, it's a middle in between. There's a lot going. There's a little. There's a couple of games going on in this one. Yeah. Do I want to sit here and wait for that entire thing? I guess not. I could go out and get some stuff. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you, Maya Sim, as well, for following on Twitch. I appreciate you. Thank you. Hello. Scuttles into Twitch. Hello there, my fellow Twitch peeps. Hello. Hello, Lulu Pie. Thank you for on the Twitch. I see you on the Twitch sign. Hello. Hello. Spider It. Thank you for following on Twitch too. Hello. We'll do the fences as well. There we go. And that's the thing, like, I'll, in, in the future, I do have plans. I will probably, like, in the future, I'll probably stream on Twitch every so often, just Twitch itself, to do uh, unrelated kind of, like, channel stuff. Um, as in, like, I'll play, like, other games that I would, that I would go out of my, like, 
other games that I wouldn't necessarily play on the channel. Um, that would be like a Twitch thing as well. Like a little bit out of the genres that I'm typically uh, a part of, if that makes sense. That's a whole nother reason why I'm having Twitch too. All right, let's make this freaking crate. You're secretly an octopus. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now all we have to do is place it down and we should be good to go. I am so excited that we have a couch and a wardrobe now. That's fun. Can I place this anywhere? I can. Let's place it over here, yeah? Here we go. Now, I need to put, like, seeds in there, yeah? Pokey! Where are you, Pokey? Pokey, Pokey, Pokey. There you are, Pokey. Guess what you're doing on Saturday. What the heck are you doing on Saturday? Yeah. You know what, Gans? This isn't half bad. Yeah, you'll be uh, grown. Uh, you'll be able to grow. You'll be able grown. What the frick? You'll be able grown some nice plants in this. Nice job. I'm proud of you, Bucko. Now you're just going to need some seeds to plant. There's a couple ways to go about that. First way is to toss me some fruit into a toss some fruit into a recycler if you have one. The next is to buy them from Renard, but he charges an arm and a leg. Finally, I can give you some of my own private stock. I guess you've earned this, so here you go. Enjoy. There we go. Now, you just need to plant those in the planter and keep it watered with a watering can. Give it a little time to grow, and that's what farming's all about. Build more planters, get more seeds, get, grow more crops. Make some into food or make them into food. Sell them for extra money. Heck, knowing you, I'm sure you'll find some other crazy uses for them. I'm sure you can find figure everything else out from here on from here yourself. So later, Chumpy. I mean, later, Cans. All right. <laughs> nice. It should have been grown, huh? That's what it sounded like. Mm -mm. <clears throat> now, about this recycler, though. I'm kind of curious about that. <coughs> Wait, did he give me um seeds for the planter? Here we go. There we go. Okay. Nice. <coughs> My lord. Okay, so we're, we're doing drum stocks seeds. Oh my gosh. That's pretty good. Now, do we have any more seeds? He only gave us the one. That's his private stock. Oh my lord. Da, 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 da. Yes, what would you like, Renard? That is the end of the Critter Cove de demo. Thank you for taking part, and we hope you enjoyed the time you spent here. Early access release will be later in 2024, which will contain many more islands and underwater locations to explore, and many more shops, items, and decorations to make your town complete. So please follow us on Discord for all the latest news, and don't forget to wishlist us on Steam. Thank you again, and continue to enjoy the Critter Cove demo has to offer. Oh, very well. So that was, um, I mean, it was very much similar, uh, to, I think it was very similar to the first time we played, right? I think it was very similar to the first time we played, right? I would have to uh, say it was very similar. I mean, the tourists are here, right? The tourists are here. I have a fair wind at your back today. What can anchor do for you? Did I ever tell you of the time I was swamped by the famed terror whale? No. I was sailing me vessel past the curved straits of no hope when out of nowhere a great one-eyed whale leaps a dozen feet out of the water and belly flops on me deck, snapping me ship in twain. The whale looks straight into me with a good eye and it's good eye and says, you've been whale flopped. Never forget the day. Fortunately, he and I became good hardies after, after that. Still send each other cards and such on birthdays and holidays. Good fellow, the terror well be. Interesting. Now, there is something out. Actually, I'm interested. It's like way... 
I'm actually interested in going to the other islands. Maybe we can kind of like cruise around and see. We'll cruise around and see. Yeah. We'll cruise around and see. <laughs> I am like dying over here. Holy crap. Hang on. My goodness gracious. Yeah, we'll go see what these other like islands and things like that are all about too. Sleep till tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, I guess you know the the, the people are here, the tourists are here. I thought there was gonna be like a little bit more interaction with them, at least for now. But you know, it's all good. Um, and I probably you probably can go around and like, hopefully you can go around and like add more. Uh, houses at least for like the main characters so to speak like sniff tipper uh like add them to the um to the town and whatnot maybe i don't know the mark on the south end looks like a pokemon this one right here that's what i want to go to i want to go to some of these places and see what the heck they're all about go All right, we'll head on out. We'll see where it takes us. We'll go straight to this like castle thing. Yeah, we'll see what this is going on, going on about. It's kind of weird going out here and there's like nothing in front of us. Like, what do we have to? Oh, well, look at this thing. There's also this too. What is that? I want to go to that, whatever that is. That little way marker. We'll go to both. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I can't go to it. <laughs> Anybody that wanted to know Caesar salad and cheesy drumstick wife says eight out of ten. God, that sounds amazing though. <laughs> Defeated by the invisible demo wall. William. Hello, William. Thank you for following on Twitch. Good to see you. Hello, William. Goodness gracious. <sighs> Let's see. Let's come over here. Now there is like a, there's bigger islands over here, but I'm, I'm sure I can't go to them. There's like stuff like floating around. I'm really sure I can't go to them, but now I'm interested. I thought they expanded it a bit more. They didn't expand it a bit more. So at least compared to the last time I played, what was really different about it? I think the tourists showing up. I think that was like the only other difference it made compared to the last time we played, right? I don't think there was any major difference other than just just the tourist. I think I was hoping to do a little bit more interaction with the tourists. I was hoping to see another boat, which I'm pretty sure I thought I saw that. But maybe not. Maybe I saw something else. But there wasn't really anything, I guess, different from the first time, no? Let's go to the cafe real quick. This game is really cool, though. I really like this game. And I really cannot wait for this game to come out. This game is really fun. And this game is definitely going to be one of those games you put in, like, hours upon hours upon hours in. No one is assigned to work here. Yeah, that makes sense. But I am really excited for this game. You know, we haven't gone up to the top of the uh, lighthouse since it's been constructed either. <laughs> they spent four minutes designing the running animation. <laughs> oh, God. 
This is pretty cool. Four months, mon months, minutes, months. Look at there's a little uh wait, I don't remember having that on there. Anyways. Yeah, alright. It's pretty cool though. Yeah. It doesn't look very much new, does it? I'm really trying to like break into the um break into the memory here of the last time I played this. And I'm trying to like get some significant differences uh from the last time I played and I don't really think there was other than just the tourists showing up and them talking about the tourists interacting with the tourists things like that but I think that was it I think that was the only thing that was really different that stands out in my head I'm pretty sure planting crops was in the game the last time I played I'm pretty sure it was but maybe that was new maybe planting crops you know, when we do a backflip. You like that? <laughs> but it is quite interesting, though. Nonetheless, I'm really excited for this game. Wait, is there someone actually swimming? I saw someone in the water. Yeah, there are. That's Tipper. Tipper swimming. Tipper, you said you weren't going to be swimming. You said you don't know how to swim. That's the reason why. Uh, Tipper, you liar. You freaking liar. You lied to me on the island back there. We were supposed to be good friends, Tipper. Oh my lord. This guy. I think one thing about this playtest also that the game doesn't really showcase is the game doesn't really showcase in the playtest. They don't showcase like the economy um, and like, you know, your currency, what to use with the economy. That might come later with the uh, tourists, uh, the shops being open, the food being this and that earning money right i mean the only way you can really earn money is by selling things to renard but hopefully that's not like the only way to do that but yeah nonetheless everybody it's been a pleasure and honor being with you today i hope you all enjoyed this look at the new playtest of critter cove really excited about it and um i can't wait for this game to come out it's gonna be fun i think we'll have a good time and uh if you enjoyed it make sure to add it to the wish list and all that good stuff and thank you all for the awesome likes on today's stream thank you for the follows on twitch and thank you for the 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 likes and subs on on youtube here thank you for the memberships uh thank you for the massive membership and there's like 30 gifted memberships given out today even more than 30 actually so thank you very much for that i appreciate y'all um thank you for hanging out with me and um we'll be back tomorrow with some more streaming as always so i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day rest of your evening before I go I just want to say that thank you all for spending your time with me and any time you spend is valuable time so I appreciate that and let it be known that you are very important you are a very important person in this life that we live in this world that we live and I know things might get rough when you're at work or at school or anything like that and you might feel very very lonely and alone might not feel you might feel like you not might not have any friends but just know in your heart that i will always be your friend all right if you need a friend i'm here for you have a great rest of your day and uh have a good evening good morning and i'll talk to you all tomorrow do take care she said we better of his best friend